and the game is starting. Welcome to game two. Had some technical difficulties, unfortunately, and it looks like we are already starting to get into the game. Absolutely, we are going to ascent, and we Not have UWRF on. here on the uh, attack, and we have blue golds on that defense. This is a very interesting comp that we're seeing from UWRF here. Absolutely, and we're seeing a hover of Joey on that ISO. It is just a hover, so we'll have to see. Uh, being as that he is the newest um, domain expansion. Uh, Absolutely, is ability. the newest duelist that just came out not too long ago, <laughs> and we're seeing here that now. Looks like Blue Golds is kind of joking with him, and now also they were all hovering there on ISO. Um, or, oh, it is. Never mind. It was that River Falls was sitting there, just hovering there on all of them. And now I'm all sent here. What the hell? Um, I don't know if those switch it. Like switch those over if you click the different ones of these. Because they're in the other side. Yeah, I guess that works. Boop. Awesome. Sorry about that. We just had to get our stuff in order so you guys would know which side was actually which side. Where is Can the you mouse? click off of it so it doesn't show the red lines? Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're seeing here that they are all setting up very quickly here. Perfect. Yes, we're seeing I... It's not exactly, but it is quite a close comp with the fact that they both do have a... Uh, just I believe so duelist for blue gold esports. Yeah, that is an interesting Water choice, especially with the ISO. They are now lacking um, any sort of. Uh, why am I losing initiator? I mean, they we've don't got have an a initiator. strong initiator, a strong sentinel, and a strong controller yes. for blue gold. River so they Falls are just lacking, really, the extraness of having two initiators yeah. on this map, which I know is very meta. River Falls here is playing the meta comp that exists for, um, for Ascent here. So, yes, I know that um, particularly lame that we have here is you're using a comp that's proven to work. Wow. I know. In a competition? That's crazy. Yes, I mean, it is the one that they have been playing for quite a while now here, although they do have the, introdu the introduction of Muggsy here playing instead of um, UWRF Chloe, who is watching in the crowd. So it is Bobby a bit and different. Muggsy brings it down to a 2v2. We're just seeing their Sentinel and Sova left here for them. Seeing a push out from tree here. And lame is low. And we're seeing thick now kind of go and try and hide into hell, but it doesn't work. They knew the where pants was. Fancy. They knew where they were and were able to catch them off guard with that, with prestigious, with that clutch of a win. Always good to see. Now picked up the Deagle. Getting their little setup done as well. Giving the Deagle off. Interesting force by four. River Falls, it looks like uh, Lane is going to head on B to have some Aries through the wall action. Absolutely. He may or may not be known to uh, like to do that, especially with an Odin. You know, o Odin's also as well are pretty meta just on Ascent as well as most of their walls, as they like to say, are paper thin and made of paper. Ooh, we Always see here Joey grenade. falls to that Molly. Very unfortunate on their part. We're seeing a smoke come out as well then from them. If they want to push that way, it's going to be very dangerous for them. Kind of just seeing them decide... They, they might still push this, but they don't know where anyone is hiding, so they're using that dog to try and gain some information. Muggsy is low. And 
no, no help was coming on the way. Nade, but then killed. Holy And it was just a slaughter there right there at the end. Especially with that judge there coming out from, I believe, Muggsy. A 4K from Polar, who stole the ace. Yeah, it, it was crazy. I mean, I know personally that, you know, they are very comfortable on Ascent, especially with the meta comp. They, this is probably the map that they have the highest win rate on as a team. Like, really? they, they love this map. It is a good, safe comfort for many people, I would say, that play Valorant or Of course, or it's Capitan. been in the map since the beginning of the game, and, or it's been in map pool since the very beginning, and hasn't been taken out on, like, certain maps like Fracture, Breeze, or, uh... Icebox. What else we Pearl, Icebox, Split, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Bind, too. Yes. I know that, um... That they're not the biggest fan of bind. They don't usually like to play that one, so... Ooh, they got spotted by that alarm button, shot it down, so now they know that there's at least some. But it is a five-person push right there through market. Or lame find one. Ooh, that dog comes out, but I don't think spotted necessarily anyone. Prestigious, prestigious goes down. Prestigious. Now we're seeing Nomeo again come up from behind with that judge in hand. Coming to go after him. Let's see if they can Google get anything. Esports. Well, Pansy has a ghost? Yeah, T Pansy here only has that ghost and has one smoke now after that util just came out. We're seeing if they might just push here. Kind of getting flooded there through that wall, making sure that they aren't there. Gonna molly backside, it looks like, and they're. Reyna is low and gets Polar donked off of that. Shot. Another down. from Polar. Absolutely. I know he loves his KO, and that is. Oh, yeah. KO. Exactly. So, picking up all the guns that they can here now. And Looking we're seeing like that Polar now has his ult up already from those nasty 4Ks he's been getting. Of course. It's looking like we're seeing another 3-0 lead from River Falls. Absolutely. Last game we saw Blue Gold Esports bring it back to 5-7 and into overtime on Bind. Absolutely. Can we see uh, the same thing happen here? I think it is possible, being as, you know, as they're starting to learn how each other are playing this map and how, especially with the fact that they do have two duelists there for Blue Golds, how they're doing it. You know, they're making some educated guesses. We still see here Polar has his knife up and he's ready and he's tucking in here, hiding. We're seeing too that there is now Nomeo goes down. They're getting that crossover, spots him. Of course. Tooks, takes no damage through that wall. He's kind of able to just escape it. So now we're seeing here River Falls is at that deficit, but now, you know, they just lost. Their smokes as well. Now we're only seeing a sentient. Polar's getting KO. a flank into tree, but the door is closed. Absolutely. Just kind of tries to shoot through wall. They now know he's there, but he was able to get a gun. One before, so we'll see if he's, he's gotten able to eight do anything. kills in the last two rounds. Oh, he is spotted there. Oh, runs out of ammo. Uh, and was able to catch him off there by spotting him early. So, no more Vandal for him. So now we're seeing that first win there for Blue Gold Esports, and I think right. this is the start of them kind of, you know, they figured out how they defend, and they're going to figure out how they can abuse anything that they can and have access to. Sure. So... I mean, I'm looking excited, or I'm getting excited for it. I I'm think it'll be the, uh, nice. Blue Gold Esports were seen to be better on attack, but so were River Falls. So seeing River Falls take a commanding 3-1 lead on defense is certainly interesting to watch. I, uh, I think it is easier for them with having those uh, double initiators. That is kind of why it's become that meta comp. We're seeing again Lame sitting there with that Odin was spamming there through, but... Kind of back it off now to see if they're gonna go now to A. Ooh, we're seeing there that slight lurk by he 
headshot coming up there, but that bot will probably spot them. Prestigious coming for Joey. Joey jumps off. Domain expansion. Absolutely. Oh, they're sitting there. Default is able to get one that way, and now Blue Gold just has Hotshot, who was coming up. She did get the spike. Is shot oh, through smoke by Nomeo, and will go down from that. A timeout has been declined by Blue Gold Esports. Yeah, that is interesting and something that we could see on our side, but yeah, I think um Our caster is supposed to screen peek. Well, we would never. That would that would not be allowed. Surely we would never look at all ten players' screens no. at once. <laughs> no. Surely. Absolutely no reason. Okay, we're seeing that KO knife come out, so it's going to keep that... Line, it dashes forwards and gets taken I out. have a feeling that that was probably not planned, but it happened, so... Holy now they lost that off. For Blue Gold Esports. Absolutely, so we're seeing that now as a loss. Nomeo does Take catch them off. Spike hard. and door is close. Yep, Broken. and is able to just now shoot door through that smoke to keep it there. They do retrieve that spike. They did get spotted by that recon dart. This was looking so good for them. Taken out by Prestigious. This is not looking good. It looks no. like Prestigious has recovered the operator for Absolutely. Uh, for Muggsy. Muggsy. Yeah, so now they, they can retain that op and I mean that was still that was close. I mean it was looking good there for blue golds there. It, it really yeah. was, but they were able to get that clutch back. Now we're seeing River Falls have four ults up. And Blue Golds only have two. I mean, we've seen a very similar thing happen on rounds uh, for Bind. two and three for uh -huh. uh, Polar picking up eight kills in two rounds. Oh, absolutely. Definitely insane. And we're seeing, too, that um, on Smokes there as well, that he's going to have his ult up in just one. And we're seeing Thick there already down a bunch of health. Must have been picked off a lot. Definitely was spotted there. Polar's hunting Nomeo. He's at only 26 health. Ooh, Nomeo, Nomeo does get that pick. And, ooh. They are able to get out. Zev was kind of trapped there, but no longer trapped. Thick still trying to push up here. Maybe trying to get an ult off to maybe try and secure plant. Fine stick. Ooh, Muggsy was able to get that just a split hair through there. Although it was very low, so understandable. Hot shot there as well. I don't believe with an op, but at least a marshal. I'm not Zev very good at telling him apart. And gets the plants off. Yeah, and Zev still has blind, which I think will be quite powerful when it comes to this. Um, Drones coming out. See Zev recon bolt. Absolutely coming up all lanes. You shot the hot, result. hot shot is just I think too late on this lurk. Won't be able to help at all. And goes down as they spot because Muggsy was watching there for that flank. And now they have all five alts up there for River Falls, and oh, it's it's looking good. Flawless victory for Blue Gold Esports. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll have to see if they switch up their strat at all for attacking. Looks like they're having Zev hold the spike here. Um, mm -hmm. But dropping it there to kind of leave space. Might just use the blind right away knowing that they do have that op. So they kind of don't want that to be challenged as they kind of push to get some information. So we're going to have to see if that timing is going to be just right or if not. Gets that hit blind by that blind. Pushing in. Is able to back off. But now they did get that that A main space that they wanted. Although it does not now have that blind for later, which will kind of be at that deficit themselves. Ooh, is hit Great through the smoke. smoke. Very unfortunate there for Polar. They're able to now go collect that spike as Thick has been able to kind of push up. Thick Ooh, Thick is one. able to get prestigious Thick off two. of that. Lame is now also quite low, putting down that so that, well, lame you run. know, the KJ ult, you know, the Killjoy will be there to kind of help and make sure that 
Nothing more will happen. Seeing that reload of that Odin take so long. It's kind of crazy, you know. They have one now watching market. Two on stairs. Two CT. Yeah. One moved. Ooh, the one is found by his ult. Lame got good with that one. The Nomeo 14 so how on Nomeo. Ooh, trying to use they that blind to figure out. Ooh, he can. Ooh, get nope, spotted. Nope. There's one more. Still I is full health. I Let's see. He was Six too out. low. And now Nomeo. able to take that op. Now the op will be in the hands of Blue Gold Esports. That would have been unfortunate to say the least if I popped off and hot shot failed to They're going to have him. ISO ult, I would guess most likely mid. Being as they do have those two duels, that is something that they definitely do have that is an advantage of being able to kind of have that op, you know, yeah. place wherever yeah. when still having another duelist. Yeah, we're seeing three players on Blue Gold Esports getting very close to having their ults. Three players on URF with their ults. Absolutely, and we're going to see two ops now out. Um, both ops, ooh, getting that boost to go onto that box there to try and get that advantage. Dropping down after not really spotting anything, though. They're really just now trying to take mid space um, to try and kind of poke and prod, see what they can find, see where people are. Yeah. We're seeing some healing already have to come out. out the alarm bot. Absolutely. It gives them some information of where they could be, but... Also not too much of now they don't have an exact amount. Seeing some shock darts come out trying to go to pizza, but no one is hiding there. A smoke off too on that, so they're just pushing now into their spawn. That's it's crazy. crazy. Except for we just have the smokes there, Zev hiding back, kinda just wanting to make sure that since they have the spike that they're not about to get picked off. Because it's very important to you know, not die with that. So gonna come up from a main as the rest are coming up there. Ooh, Liam with the Odin gets taken. We'll have to see. The Odin is just too strong. Odin goes burn, but unfortunately they were camping his body. We're seeing an alt here from Polar, so now any of that KJ Utah that they had is useless. Muggsy, they cannot find him, Mama, and he gets it from behind. Muggsy was zero. That is heartbreaking. Muggsy just did not see him there on the corner. Must have gotten a slip by. Three, I'm not six, sure how. Blue Gold Esports. I believe uh, yeah. Muggsy was blinded, and Zev decided to teleport. That would be it, I think. Yeah, Polar might have Great blinded thing. his teammate, which is very unlucky when it comes to the fact that he kind of needed to clear sight there. Definitely. So, a um, little bit of a slip up there, and you see that punished as it was there, so. Absolutely punished. We'll see. I don't believe. Okay. They do still have the op in Joey's, Joey's hands. The box with the and operator, Muggsy also has it. Drop immediately. Yes. Ooh, got seen there by the turret. Muggsy gets out. Is going to destroy doors so that they can't use it, but not fully. Not quite. I, that's always usually a good idea to do, you know, when they, when you are pretty sure they're taking A, just to make sure that they can't abuse that door and then be able to take it out. We're seeing here now some little lurking by Sky here and a couple others to Despite noise on A, there's still three people from River Falls on B. In fact, KO is taking a very aggressive angle in Garage. Absolutely. Peek off of Killjoy's turret. Just trying to make sure if anyone's pushing up that they won't get too far. They took out that turret, which has the told them that they are at least somewhat marked. You see the operator Ooh. just barely saw that angle and took him out. They now no longer have that support and that initiator. They just have their smokes and their duelists, which is still quite powerful. That smokes, you know, it is going to be. But Nomeo still has his entire That's kit and his down. ult. Muggsy really just looking through those smokes, trying to see if they can see anything up there, and Hotshot is coming through. We have the KJ ult coming over now from River Falls, as it is going to force them to come the out. With a shorty. Yep, and is able to do that. Is frozen in time. 
Absolutely. And we're seeing the op still in the hands now, but now the Blue Golds don't have that op either. We'll see if that they buy their own, but I'm not sure that they will. I think they're going to just stick to rifles as they were pretty poor last round. Um, and still looking like that they are. We're seeing Joey now as well having to go light armor just to be able to get a Vandal. Mm -hmm. Well, as Buddy is still looking pretty good for everyone but Nomeo on the side of River Falls. And Prestigious is definitely a little hurt as well. But we're also seeing that Muggsy is about to have his ult up. If he could get an early pick, then he might just be able to pop yeah. knives and. We're seeing five people on B. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like it's going to be a down. rough Joe push up to B. Lane. They're just Someone fast taking it. They got the two players there that were holding it down. Now they also Five have an Odin just to spam. They took Lames Odin. Ooh, Joey tried to, to hold off for that flank, but was unable to retain it. Breaking that market door, they're trying to see if they can get anything with that off. I don't think they flashed their teammates this time, which is good. Perhaps. Really just nervous. They're trying to figure that out. Ooh, they spotted the Ulted little bit of the hat. Alton. Ooh, was able to get them. Let's see. Uh, Is that five uh, No. There they are. They get them. She cannot. Eight three. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know. Coming to the last round of the half for River Falls. Yeah, that op is scary. Like it's. In the hands of Muggsy, it's almost classified as a deadly weapon, I would say. I mean, as an Honestly. operator it is, but, you know, I think everyone gets my point. So, Muggsy has certainly been performing going 9-7 and seven with the operator. Yeah, it's been going good for him, and now he's just kind of vibing up there on A Heaven, you know, doing a little dance. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, See, and then the rest of the team is kind of setting up. Lame already getting into his position to just spam that out and throw the wall. Shall he hear a single noise? Polar's getting that knife set up already. I don't awesome. know where this one is going to land. It might be an A. A lot of people on so mid. It looks like that's where they are rotating. Nomi will find one in tree. Absolutely. He hears the turret. Goes what? down. Knows that there's at least one more there. Two. They're all there. Oh, this is not looking good. Almost getting three. shot at. Just trying to plant it this time, but now six health bombs down. Two v three for Blue Gold Esports. Yeah, it's scary, and they just have that guardian. Seeing the drone come out here from Lame to try and spot any. Does see that hot shot is there. Can't spot the other one. So now it's just going to spam down there with the Odin. Shoot out, hot shot, hot shot. Might see Lane. Oh, but still does get caught off guard there. And the round has ended. It's definitely it gonna have nine three. Oh, they're not gonna go pick up the Odin. It seems like they're gonna. Yep, they're gonna try and just retain that up. Makes sense. Well, they had to switch sides, so I guess it actually didn't matter. I forgot that that was that he was going to. We could do a little bit of trolling. They very well could. We're seeing the setup here and to go B. Five people deciding. Who's Rally Rage? Good question. Apparently, someone has joined our party. Yep. Yeah. Uh, requested to. Oh. Oh, wait, no, has joined. Yeah. Interesting. That is what I thought I saw. Well, we're just going to look past that. We see here, Procedus actually does have the Deagle, and I mean, I think that means that he Marcy just doesn't have really any util. Seeing Zeb now, now they are all fully rotating over A. Full it is definitely that A hit. Shots coming in CT. Six coming in Market. Absolutely, and I and they're looking out there for Market. Lame is already planting. Coming down lane here. Ooh, spotted Nomeo there, sitting in Boathouse, swamp grenading him, but now he's going to be spammed out. Polar is Polar's still just watching the other one. On Ooh, is going to molly, and that's going to bring them down. 
coming down. Now the they're all just watching Lane. Can, she Can he one, get that? One. Ooh, got Muggsy, but now it's at 70. It has Here's no seven. util. Two. Ooh. It's still very low oh, now. Oh. Couldn't oh. find him. And he gets that kill there. 10 3 for River Falls. Absolutely. We're still seeing that River Falls on the attack. I mean, we saw that they were quite strong here on the last time, and they're still quite strong here now. They're showing their dominance right here. Yes. See that setup? Looks like they might go B, and I have a feeling that um, it looks like they might just have Solo there. Uh, they're setting all just set up Solo here B. What is Thick doing to the duck? I don't know if we want to know. Oh, uh, it looks like Zev will be joined though by their smokes. Hey, it takes Ooh. out Pansy. Joey trades Muggsy. And Blue Gold is looking weak already. Wow, that was that was quick. Just spammed through, I'm guessing, with uh, Odin. Oh, no. pe Four people are gone, and it's Spike down. Mm, they heard that glass break. They know they're there. Polar is waiting underneath. Shock dart out from Lame to try and get anything. Ooh, the recon bolt comes out. They know that they're there. Polar is now they just spamming. Spots. Finds a headshot no on meal. He is low. Prestigious himself is also very low. Polar... Doing a dance to just get around all those incoming bullets. Zeb is struggling. Now uh, being the I last one more. that was there, that yeah. was hard. Zeb could really only see Polar's head there as well, but still, just yeah. the way he was moving just was not able to tap it. Which is probably going to be a little hurt for the ego there. We're seeing that now... Um, Blue Gold is able to have full buy pretty much with yeah. everything and they're gonna have full rifles although Pansy will be sitting there um, and not have the full shield uh, unlike the rest but it seems uh -huh. like River Falls is gonna have that full shield and two rifles so that will be good Ooh, they spotted already that he was there they're just that spamming Ooh, well. almost got him Very too low. River Falls up Dead. one more, but but Muggsy is low. I with them not having the healer, it will be close. But they had like three of their players were low last time, so I have a feeling he's just gonna be played as bait. Ooh, they're watching that heaven, but they know that they broke that door, so we'll have to see. Yeah, looks like there are some coming out through a tree and was able to get one, but Muggsy here is just sitting here. Just waiting patiently. Trying to see if they're going to go default. The sky pops up, but was not able to get a good shot. Now it's all up to Prestigious, but he Google falls. Takes around 4 to 11. Yeah, and that, that's definitely a good round for him. I mean, they had a full buy there, and I mean, at least some of them got to keep their weapons and, you know, retain Four, some money, but. You know, it was still kind of rough, I would say, being as that is, it's just, you know, now Riverfall should be having some econ here, and they should be, um, yeah, we're going to see some, now full rifles out from both teams, but still not full shields up for blue golds, so we'll have to see how this works and how this helps. We're seeing that. Oh, got spotted by the drone, so they know he's there. They're backing off as he's trying to push Turns up. Gets spotted going. by the turret. They're going to try and break that, and they did. But not without taking some damage. Shotgun comes out for some damage. Absolutely. So they know that they at least were attempting here. B, we're still seeing, though, I believe Joey is rotating off to A as there is now players down Player on both sides. Out. Zones her off. Yes, it's going to be... Zeph now can no longer use any of their abilities. That's going to be rough. River Falls. This is found by Joey. Oh. Now with only one left. Lame do. And also still needs to get Spike. Spike is down. Might just go up and try and fight. and See if they can get someone. Get Zev caught off guard. 
but now they know where he is, that he is pushed up heaven. Ooh, spotted him. But I don't think they got spotted. But it was handled again! Insane clutch! Insane clutch there! 12 to 4, River Falls. Insane clutch from River Falls. Absolutely, and uh, I mean, out of late, out of Luke, there, that it, it's insane. Trust me. Um, <laughs> poor guy didn't even know we had an esports lab till about a week and a half into the season, and then he joined. So trashing on the clutch player. Oh, uh, uh, he. We, we all love him. He knows it. It's okay. Just giving some more context to make him look even better. Because of the fact that he has not had nearly as much practice of like playing this game. Very interesting. Ooh, Zev tried to put down that smoke, but Fine really just push. couldn't. We're now they're all just trying to spam through smoke. Entry, trying to finish up the game. Yeah, but we're seeing that ult there out from Polar, but it's about to go down. Moxie's in the smoke. They'll be able to use their abilities again soon. Oh! Moxie takes two! was Three. able to get people just from coming out of that smoke unexpectedly. Now Zev having, I believe, used his ult is just there. And the game is and over. And there it Ever goes. Blue Gold Esports, 13-4. Yeah, like I said, this is their comfort pick. They do love Ascent. It is, like, I'd almost say a love of their life. Great games. Absolutely. Can we? Oh, I'm hitting control instead of windows. Absolutely. Well, that was quite a good one there. That it was intense. Yeah. And it looked like you know, Eau Claire still had a pretty good chance for a comeback there, but and fortunately, just amazing game for it. River Falls. Thirteen four. Just insane. Disgusting lead. Uh, like I, I don't even know what to say. It was a slaughter, and again, like I was saying about um, of course. lame or Luke, um, there too. Like that clutch was insane, being as that uh, you know, he just never played Valorant to this competitive level where we have Polar who has gone to at least one other land before and has and did win that wow. land and has been in many different like competitions before already. Um, coming into going to river falls yeah. like it's it, it's it's crazy though from luke with that clutch i, I definitely thought that he was not going to get that he was spotted there in heaven uh, it, i could go on and on about that though that eau claire did a roulette and are we going to a game three here? yep okay and now it looks like we're just doing a good old random pick here Looks like we're going to breeze. Viper roulette from both teams. Okay. This will be interesting to see who they all get. Viper, of course, is very much known for being OP on this map. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to go back to it. Uh, gotta get the mouse so it's on here. Huh? Select your agent. It looks like we got some comfort picks from some of our players here that didn't want to just do the roulette. Wow. Because they want to be a little lame. Okay, it looks like Muggsy has the Viper thick, and then... I hear a very loud... We have Breach, boom. Brim, Reyna, Sky, and then we have Phoenix, Sova, Chamber for no yo, that is uh, Muggsy on the Viper and Polar on the Yoru. Although he can play Yoru, he's not known for his Yoru like Muggsy is. So this is gonna be an interesting match, but I think it should be fun. I mean, they do have two initiate or two duelists, so 
normally whenever they play Yoru, they like to have two. Major disrespect to Lame and Hotshot for locking Sova and Reyna respectively. Yes, I do believe that Reyna was the lock in first and then Lame. Uh, they might have came to an agreement that we just don't know about, about, you know, picking but breaking a certain the hero. contract of the Viper roulette. I know. Oh, We're seeing Zev here actually sitting here AFK as the round gets started. Uh oh. He's kind of standing in front of us talking. Not sure what is going on. Uh, she is over here? Yes. Da, 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 well, da, da, da. this will be interesting. Now we just have a cypher cam, caterpillar you know? Caterpillar smoked into B. Oh, the caterpillar smoke. You see quite a bit happen when Joey takes on Nomeo. Ooh, trying to put that fire, though. Goes for back sight. Spikes down. Joey's found. Yeah, absolutely. And our permanent cypher cam that is in back here is going to be moving. Zev now has retained their role. Oh, they might be doing a knife duel. Oh, uh, they get Muggsy and they teabag. Oh, wow. oh, the disrespect now. Demon one behavior. Absolutely. Defenders win there. I don't know how. That was insane esports drama. Did you see Demon One was considered the villain of Valorant VCT? Yes. T backing. Oh, absolutely. Game. Oh yeah, it's definitely not very f like. It's not always applauded very much, like frowned upon in most cases. But I mean, this is going to be a, just Batman. a kind of silly, goofy. You know, of they're course. just doing it for fun. So yeah, I think they're going to take it a little bit more lighthearted. Yeah. Not going to sweat all that small stuff. Muggsy looking like he's got some Viper Walls put up. Interesting Viper Wall. Already got Spike. We saw the Yoru um, have an interesting play there. Now the rotates are coming up, but Joey's Fully sneaking up behind. Can Joey find one? Oh, Gets that Nomeo on Chamber. I know that Chamber is not the love of his life. I think he would have loved if he got Harbor, though. He's definitely very sad by that. He's absolutely pinned. Absolutely. Very now that he lame gets that deagle. So at 1.30 we have Overwatch games for our first set of games. It's going to be Bugs and first pick gets... Okay. See now that Polar has picked up that deagle. Give it to him by Luke. And now he has another deagle. Going to scout up mid there for it. Yeah. I do believe I know that Luke there also has like more of a limited arsenal of like who he knows how to play. So that might have also been why they went with some comfort picks there. I see, yeah, yeah. So I do believe we see that thick got there with the oh God darted there from the back. Ooh, gets shot up over there. Now they get that free push. Now yeah. we're seeing here though, Lame is coming up. He's got the sheriff and oh, gets spots someone. Oh, he tried real hard, but uh, could not get not any of those so shots far. to connect. But did get one connected right Don't into his head. Joey running with his knife out. Oh, okay, he is popping off. Gets a guard. And gets and another and one. Is this gonna be an ace? I don't know. But it's, it's, we're in the running for it, but gets That's caught it. off. Oh, it was looking good One, there, though. Two blue gold esports. That, oh, no, not again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think both of our players on both sides have done some questionable things, so. Interesting. Yeah, I think. I just pretend that they don't happen. Shh. Yeah. It's okay. Exactly, exactly. It's it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Surely. It, it's all in the love of esports and competition, you know? Yes. Although that love might be a little toxic sometimes. Regardless if it's talking about the game or teammates, you know? Not necessarily love, it's love bombing. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, Off Zeb is almost about to get that to connect right there, but Nomeo does escape. So does not no Nomeo changed sides of the pillar. Yes, as you know, Chambers do te typically hold up that spot. He is sitting at 70 health. That's going to be scary. Diz have his ult, so that is most likely why he was sitting there. Next We're looking at a 3v2. We see the Viper still up on each side, but... Ooh, now Fancy there's no more smokes. 
Spike's pushing up mid. Yes. We're seeing Thick trying to catch Muggsy, but really isn't able to. There is a push from behind. Dart does not see him, but they already knew he was there. And down Thick goes. Unfortunate there for them, but there might be a little bit of a comeback. I haven't been exactly seeing how uh, our glorious pr prestigious has been doing on there. Awkward. And he is bottom fragging. I, I don't think he plays Phoenix like a lot, oh, if at probably all. Probably not. Yeah. I will say he does probably have the easiest kit in the game to use. Yes, this is also very true. And we're seeing that he's also very close to all. We do have Yoru alt up. Ooh. And we're seeing an early alt there. Breach is able to kind of outmaneuver Prestigious and take him down. Lame now here just sitting nest. Might push up, but probably not, being as he wants to stay alive to get that information. Still has over 20 seconds on that Can dart, so is it going to be too helpful Joey. at the moment? Joey's sitting here getting some... Smokes now. We're seeing now Lem get out of nest and try and follow Par Polar in and see if he can get his drone to come out and spot anything. So far, everyone has been hiding quite well from it. I don't think it spotted anything. Because everyone is kind of tucked behind, but they knew that that drone was coming there. Ooh, but someone comes up from behind. We have Muggsy coming here from behind. Ooh, that is a good snake bite there. They know that they're there. Was able Vulnerable. to catch him off guard. Gets flashed. Not sure where that last person is. Ooh, then they spot him tunnel. With 10 health strong. left, Muggsy. Kind of gets that clutch there. That was good. Joey did have a good rap, though, going along um, well to go back into tunnel. Balls. But just couldn't face the thunder. We see now that the Deagles dropped and... Ignored there by Polar, but picked up, I do believe, by Nomio on that chamber. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see, though, if he is able to actually do anything with it this time. Putting his trademark down. That's pretty good. I mean, that is kind of the one thing. Chamber isn't, like, he's not terrible on this map, but... I'd say he's uh, almost meta on this map. He used to be. Oh, absolutely. I think now that he's been kind of nerfed more so, Before not the as much. Nerf of almost a year ago now. Yeah. Oh, they already got spiked down here. Two players remaining. Muggs and Joey have some drama. Absolutely. We saw that, or we heard that bird come out. Does not have another flash now for a while. Does have dog, but isn't going to want to chance it when there's four people that could just push up on him when dogging. Teleport from Polar. Ooh, did hit that clone. But Muggsy, or Polar still goes down. Ooh, oh, right oh, as that ult comes out, Prestigious got right trail. there on top. And was able to get that clutch. Now frozen in time. No, she does not. Momentarily. Yeah, the, I mean, this is kind of just crazy. I mean, you know, it was, a, I believe, probably a random map pick as well, and... Just like, you know, they did the random hero picks, so, or agent picks. So the the Overwatch just sometimes I'd, just I'd comes say out on me. Better, a uh, better duelist to play on Breeze than Reyna, but yeah, absolutely. She's a pretty good all around agent. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And the fact that Blue Gold did not get a Sentinel is going to be a little difficult there. They do have that double initiator. And smokes. And double controller. Yes. So, like, still not the worst, being as, like, uh -huh. you don't always need a Sentinel on this map anyways. True. I don't believe it is meta to even have a Sentinel. I believe it is double controller. I cannot exactly remember, though. I believe the meta is Cypher or Sage right now. Yes. I do believe in higher levels it is Cypher way more preferred than a Definitely. Sage, but you still will sometimes see that Sage come out. We're yeah. seeing the op now in the hands of Prestigious. He's waiting to see if he can get anything, but Pansy is coming up. Pansy Knows that Lame likes to spawn. sit nest. Might just push up on him. Nuke might might get that notification, but nope. Boom. Do you want to do the Overwatch bugs? Yeah, we can. I'm just 
I really hope that someone else from our player doing Overwatch casting. I have no idea. Uh, we have to figure it out with the rest of our team. Uh, I'm support main, but I can play anything. Um, uh, sorry about that. We're right back. Just had to get some stuff figured out for some later games that'll be coming up. You should have knifed from lame. Yeah. Real. Huh? So we're seeing now that kind of just chilling here. A lot of people on A. Yeah, it looks like a five-man A push, and we're gonna see two people two already people fall to that. Out Muggsy. Viper pit out. Yep, and we're seeing prestigious now coming up to try and go doors. It looks like. We're also seeing Lame with his alt. We'll see if he's going to use it now. That dog, I think, just did barely spot the chamber. Drone now coming out. Spotted the Reyna. Is darted. Ooh, this is looking like a quick flip. Now they just need to find him. And now with that Viper Pit down, they just need to wait that Molly out for just another hot second or two. And now they're going to get that defuse. And the round is over. Mm hmm They were able to get prestigious quite low, I will say. But yeah. Now they're all just kind of joking over here in the corner, blinding each other, darting each other, trying to kill each other, you know, the casual thing. Yeah. At this it point I think they're so up on cash that I don't think it matters. They do have a pretty hefty bank. Oh absolutely. But we'll have to see. Looks like Lame is setting up a dart to go mid. Seeing if they're going to come here. Ooh, gets blinded. Already now. Polar is down. They are coming through, but... It's taken out by Nomeo. Nomeo got that good up. Right around the corner there. Was able to catch prestigious off point. He was just barely there if he would have just pushed out a bit more. Ooh, Lame is about to get caught off. Oh. Did get a pick though before he died. That was really good. Just barely could see that head over where, Can over we there. See Joey find Muggsy. Doing a caterpillar smoke to get that spike. Now almost struggling to find his way out of his own smoke. Oh no, he's caught with this knife out. Oh. Ooh, they were gonna try and push there, but it looks like now. Just gonna come around instead. Ooh, doings him right in the so head. Oh, that was a good play there by Muggsy. He was able to get him. Impressive displays of prowess here, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, still on both sides, I would say. I don't think that everyone is going to be playing their comfort picks. Very Looks like that. Muggsy is going for an op on the Viper. Nope. You know? Vandal. Uh, might have gotten Chamber the op then, is yes. perhaps how that went. That makes more sense. Odin for prestigious. The Odin does go burr, as they say. Brrr. It always just makes me think of how Bastion also goes burr in Overwatch. Oh yes, Bastion. Oh yes. I think of them as almost one and the same. Bastion and Odin. They'd be best friends. Bastion holding an Odin. Uh, that. Uh, oh, I don't even want to think about that. Still trying to know me. I'm trying to scope out, but hasn't seen anything over here on A. A lot of people pushing up. Yeah. Ooh, got Muggsy with that Deagle. That is going to be a hard one there for him, too. Does get the last person, though, and that. Oh, the Odin brings him down. I don't even know how many Odin kills he got that round, but, uh. I don't even know if I want to know. Probably too many. Of course. Oh yes. Although unlike Ascent, the you know Breeze here does not just have paper walls, so they can actually provide some more cover. Yay! Less paper. We do like that. We do We're like saving that. Saving the environment. Oh yes. Absolutely. I think brick is probably a little bit more recyclable and reusable. We're looking at 
what looks like to be almost a fast take to be. Seeing lots of Utah come out to try and help with the take of it. Odin's there, Odin of course, to continue dark, going. Oh, I think we Find might have two Odins now. We do. So that was one Odin down, but they have a secret. Another Odin. Another one! Ah, oh, but the second Odin second goes down. Out. Seeing a shock there come out, and Joey is very low health. Getting now some healing through that smoke. Relief. Now back all the way up to 100. Hear him shoot a little tune there. Da, 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 they get Spike da, and appear da, da. to be rotating. Oh, uh, Spike oh. down again after that Polar push from Elbow. Polar on that Yoru is still proving to be very difficult there for Blue Gold Esports. Are we going to be seeing a new comp from River Falls uh, in the future? Uh, no idea. Polar on Yoru? Uh, think they've pretty much just sworn that over to Muggsy. <laughs> Looks like he's gonna be going for that op. Still known to be quite deadly on that. Polar is, um... I, I, I'm just saying, I think Polar's doing better on Yoru than Muggsy was. Very well could be. Although, there is that Polar has oh. taught Muggsy some of his Yoru tricks. So, you A know... disgusting shot. Absolutely gonna go alt against one person. Now that, well, I mean, it is the last one, so. Last round. Gets a flash, they do have an Odin. They don't and know where he's coming. And he gets a knife kill with it. Just the disrespect there off that. 11 1 half for River Falls. Yeah, that is quite the prowess. I mean. Polar is also our flex player, so he is pretty used to kind of switching it up and playing things differently. Um, and is just known to be able to switch from one thing to another quite quickly, depending on you know what the map and what the comp needs. Well, I always think Chamber looks so funny whenever he's just when he holding. Takes out the you can crouch and like look up. Yep. Like, uh, oh, uh, it's hilarious. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I know. It, he just looks so funny when he's got his hand behind his bed and just like yeah. standing there. The... Oh yeah. Sort of he's finish. got that French fucking choise. Ooh. Okay, we're seeing lots of blue gold go down. A four v three coming up on the side Muggsy gets Muggsy. Overheal. Ooh, and then gets taken one down. Shot by prestigious. Let's see if Zev can try and pick anything up, but isn't, so gonna try and go elbow. Ooh, gets prestigious down, got Great that kill. Himself. Now has a deagle as well. We see Polar here with the frenzy. Ooh. Shots from Joey. Yeah, coming from that tunnel. Joey goes down. Let's see. Gonna get blinded, perhaps. That versus Polar. Ooh, looks like he's trying to like run like he's a fucking clown. He's a and clone. Oh! oh! The clone trick didn't work! Oh! Was not, Zeb was oh, not fooled! Two. Zeb was not fooled! No, was not a clone. Uh, very possible, very possible. Maybe, you know, they're just stronger than that defense on Breeze. I do believe that. Uh, I think Breeze is one of those that is like a. Defend or attackers side of map. I'm not sure. I know there's at least a couple of those, but I, I, you know, Zev was very close to being fooled, thinking it was a clone, but no, just came back. Yeah, uh, that's some great prowess there shown by Blue Gold. So quite We're proud. Polar seems to want to peak window. Ooh, was able to escape that breach. Util. Now with the marshal, gonna see if popping out. I mean, we have that Bucky. Bucky there on Thicky, on Thick. I'm combining everyone's names now. Oh lord. Seeing they're just kind of waiting to see if anyone's gonna pop out. Seeing making some noise. Ooh, know. getting shot oh. from in there. Ooh, was Nobody able to fight back. Pansy, Twenty-six health remaining. Absolutely, won't be able to do very much with that now. He's pushing off. Joey's pushing out. Does not find lame. Ooh. But Find now him. is 
Oh, that was close. Life was looking good with it, but Nomeo still was an Oh, that is dangerous. Now, Joey kind of stuck. Not sure, but Zev. gets pushed oh, up. Wrong That's fine. Yeah, We're I'm all... Same thing as you. Yeah, I think I started it. Who got a hot shot right there in the bag? That was crazy. Now we're seeing the Viper having to come up and try and get bomb. Or try and defuse the bomb. Nomeo plants bomb. But is very low. Does have TP up. Might be able to use that to TP somewhere more safe, being as. You know, not looking good, but that Bucky. Looking Ooh, does get spotted. The Vandal versus the. Deagle, let's see. Ooh. That. Ace! Oh, no, wow. No. Nomeo with that ace on chamber. That. A very that is insane. Ace from Zev right now. That. I. I don't even know what to say. You know, I know that Nomeo has it in him. But I know also. Disgusting I also know that the harbor. Nomeo. The harbor main in him is still crying. Get this man a harbor slot. For real. That is his dream come true. All he wants is his harbor. <laughs> In any of the matches that we've had for Nace or NECC, he always gets no, so sad when they play. Want a lot for Christmas. <laughs> he just wants harbor. <laughs> that is all he needs. This is all he's asking for. It's just a little harbor gameplay. Okay, we're seeing lame spot some people on the drone there. Dick still sure. hiding on the Bucky, but, you know, got hit by that Molly. Ooh, gets flashed, and... And... Oh, and they get spotted, too, as well, by the... Nomeo's taken dirt. No more aces. Oh, yeah. At least this round. Who knows? Nomeo takes out another. You know. Spikes it's gonna down. be tense. Ooh, they spot that he's coming there. Oh... Oh, he was able to get pantsy. And the game is over. 13 and there they go. End of the Viper Roulette plus Reyna plus uh, yeah. Silva. I know. Uh, I mean, it was entertaining. Mm, you know, and Blue Gold still had some really good plays. Polar there only died eight cool. times. Went 23 and 8 with seven Incredible first bloods. Match. That is cracked right there. Still, very good plays here from both teams. Yeah, we see an amazing round for Nomeo Ref here. Nomeo. Absolutely, that was beautiful. And now... And I believe that's bringing us to the end of the Geek Con 2023 Valorant series. With Absolutely. With a 2-1 win for... Uh, UW River Falls. Yes, I do uh, believe that there might be more Valorant later, but this is it for Valorant at least River Falls, least and um, Eau Claire AM might be going series. up against again. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not a master of the schedule. I didn't make it, so I, I don't. I have not looked at the schedule. We are just yet. but humble casters. We humble do not. Casters. We're not. We don't know all the information. We're of not course. got apparently. Um, but yes, well, so this was uh, very awesome I believe awesome series. we will be continuing to use this stream for the Overwatch games of. Not sure exactly when they're coming up. I do believe it was around 1:30 when those would be coming on. So, yeah, we'll have to see. We otherwise, we'll seeing you yeah. later. Thank you guys for joining Overwatch. us. Thank you yeah. for joining us. Bye. Bye. See you later.
Yeah. There we go. The desktop audios with yeah. There's no desktop audio for this, but that's fine. All right. Uh, Hello, I'm Spud. I am Seen. Uh, <laughs> we play for we play for the UW Eau Claire uh, Overwatch Varsity team slash JV now slash JV. Yep. And currently we have a pubs game full of two UW Eau Claire uh, Overwatch players on each team, a Stevens Point player, River Falls player, and an Army player on each team. And I believe it's going to be a best of three. Yeah, it is a best of best three. Best of three game. Yeah. Which and honestly, yeah. it's kind of hard. I Best of threes, I don't know. It's, yeah. It's a lot of focusing for Overwatch. It's mm -hmm. just, it's very sporadic a lot of the time. I don't know. Are they going to be playing NACE maps? Like NACE map rotation or just whatever they want? Because I, I, don't, I don't even know what we're doing. I'm later. just going to assume that it's just going to be like whatever. Yeah. They feel like probably do some control this, and this stuff. Is more, this is more chill than yeah. everything else. They'll be all right. I mean, we play later too, so yeah, we'll be able to get the hang of it. Just waiting for everyone to join in. Got our fellow teammates, Retro, Mr. Whiskers, Fireheart here. In the lobby. And a Valorant player playing as well. Isn't that Zev? Zevaruni. I think that's... I don't know who. I'm not going to... Not a clue. Oh, they are playing NECC rules. They are? Yeah, they are. Is this... Is there a delay on this? Oh, there's a three-minute delay. Okay. It has to be. Sound good. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. I mean, they're missing two people, but okay. What's that? They're missing two right now? They are. Look. Oh, I mean, I mean uh, well, in the game, yeah. I thought you meant up on the stage. And I was, no. <laughs> it's like, hmm? It is interesting. There's actually a bunch of people here for Overwatch. Yeah, there's an actually decent amount you of spectators. Can, you guys can't see them, but we and were not assuming a lot of people coming <laughs> to Overwatch. I was thinking, like, maybe five. Maybe five coming. Because it's kind of a hard game to watch at times. A lot going on. And we also have some Super Smash going on in the room as well. We'll try our best to de discern what's happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be, I feel like pubs are kind of interesting. And then I think, yeah, when we play, we're playing against Stevens Point. We teams. play against the Stevens Point varsity team and then the academy team. Yeah. And... For this show match, there will be skins, but for the like actual RV, games, there yeah, won't no. be any skins, unfortunately. We yeah. need it to be as fair as possible. Any CC rules, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Depending. Because maybe the skins will distract some people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some of the spectators, yeah. Yeah, I mean... The game's already hard enough to watch. It's oh, yeah. just so many colors. Even for, like when we play, it's just... Yeah, when you play the game, you can't really see half the time. Every once in a while, we just go, up. Oh, all right. There's a <laughs> lot of colors going on. Mm -hmm. We just call it that getting overwatched. All right. We got everybody in the lobby now. Um, how... I don't... Yeah, how would we be able to do that to get I that up there? I don't know how to would we be able to get, do that to get that up there. Yeah, no, you're fine. No, you we can. It, yeah. It'll be easy.
Mics are back. Huh? I, I muted the mics for that. Oh. Yeah, we just had some technical uh, difficulties, I guess you could say. Yeah. I mean, Got should be fine looking like this. I mean, Interesting I, names. Mommy. <laughs> average Joey B. Just the most average Overwatch players here. Mm-hmm. Nothing oh. out of the normal. Did you see some of the Valorant names earlier? Those were kind of those were kind of funny. Uh, okay. They can't see on display. Uh, or for the stream thing. That's just like moving the streams around. Yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah, I'll just cancel that. And then I think we can do full screen now. Uh, I, I can do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Oh, wow, look at those hero oh, stats. Don't look at my stats. Don't look at my stats. No, 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 no. Fuck. No. Uh, yeah. Oh, now we gotta send it back over. Oh, oh, nice. oh we did it. Gaming. Yeah, gaming. Let's go. Oh. Made that the name. Hey, we gotta, you gotta get out. Hey, hey, you're still. Don't show my stats. Show the stats. Show no, the stats real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. So wait, can they? Wait, we should probably put it back in game. Why? Well, it's not. Oh yeah. I wait till we load in first yeah. before we do that. I just. I can't wait for half of the stream just to be us figuring <laughs> everything out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. We're not in our normal setup. So. We're. Can we see who's how many viewers we have or no? Uh, I don't know. Type a one in chat if you like the stream. What's up? We're good now. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. ready. Yeah. yeah. Retro obviously calling us back, as he does, but you know, it's okay. That man looks good in the jersey. Yeah, it's nice and tight on him. Oh yeah. Too bad he's got a girlfriend. Unfortunate. You're both wearing retro jerseys, right? Uh -huh. We are both. We are both fans the retros, of retro. Actually, repping the retros. The biggest fan. Yeah. Biggest. A big. Oh, uh, they're playing now. Shit. Uh. A game capture. Oh, because it's looking for Valorant. Hold on. Ah, uh, that Overwatch. Hello? It's just not. Wait. There you go. Now, specific window. Over one. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, just drag that. Okay, we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna, yeah, just put those down. Yeah, that should be. Uh, can we move those down just a little bit? These. Yeah. Oh my god. That's I can. Oh, they're locked. Hold on. Yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah, we just we gotta oh mess with this. this. Yeah, I can. Yeah, do you that. auto. Uh, why isn't my? Oh wait, because we're not here. I got. We have to go back to the other screen if we want to auto spectate. It's fine. We can just do this for now. How do I? Uh, whoops! <laughs> Hit F1. <laughs> it's these. Oh. It's F1. There we go. There we go. We could just rotate Which? between F F one to F F ten. F one to what? F ten. F ten. Okay. I had no idea. <laughs> All right. I can't quite tell what's happening. If I'm gonna be honest. 
looks like. So we have Retro on the Junker Queen. Retro, oh, on, retro the queen. Going in on the Queen. Pubs team won, took the point first. Oh, but they have a Zenyatta on Super. the other team here. Zen's gonna get Zen taken Yada down. Gets taken retro, oh, wow. aggressive all oh, on really the Soldier. Soldier gonna fall Ooh, against nice, the Tracer nice. too. Oh, here goes Red. And here like he comes. Tank? The man, the myth, the legend, Retro. Dude, he's so much better on tank than he is on... Carrying his team to relevance here. Trans. As... Oh, looks like we're gonna go back yeah, to Pub's team one. Keep maintaining possession of the point. We have alt coming up for. Con looks Man. like Pub's team one has the Kitsune rush, and they're getting close to Visor. Pub's team two is got the, re, uh, Diva Bomb, and it's close to Visor and Coal or Transcendence. Well, let's move the Con Man's POV to watch this bomb, the Diva Bomb here. Might have to use it just as a saving grade. Yeah. Oh, uses it aggressively. Big. They don't have Suzu either. Oh. Mech slam. Goes oh. for the remake. Mommy gets a visor kill. Fireheart takes out Colin. Oh, Whiskers trades with Fireheart. Mommy picks off Retro. I like how you say Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and Pubs Team 2 is going to take control of the point. So we 88%. have the Zenyatta ult, which makes him invincible and also heals him a whole lot. We should watch Team Fireheart versus uh, Team Retro, it looks like. Should we find Retro? Let's find uh, Retro. There's Retro here. The man. Just pimp chimping right now. Oh, wow. Early transcendence. Early trans. And Colton goes down. Retro Colton's low. Whiskers finds Zev. Both teams down a DPS. Oh, Whiskers Mrs. gets Whiskers two. Is just, he's just having a fun game. Both teams down two DPSs. He's just living. Oh, he's living in this moment. Oh, Fireheart oh, retro picks off Retro. Deep and feeds, just like Retro likes to do. Shit. There we go. Fireheart. Fireheart TP looking out. Around. And now they're going to pull out. Fireheart's team maintaining control of the point. Retro seems looking to People seem confused in our chats, but just be confused. Type 1 if you like the stream. <laughs> no, what are you doing? It's, it's up here. Well, now you, you it's it's it. bugged. You, you bugged it. <laughs> what did you do? All right, now try it. Oh yeah. No, no it's, it's, it's these F. ones. It's, F. it's the apps, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Team Retro Miska has control of the here. Having transcendence. Hakushi oh, the kills ball. mommy. Fireheart's team's down a DPS. That orb volley does a lot of damage. Uh, Whiskas picks off yeah. the other Zenyatta. Looking for Fireheart. There picks her off. Zev sells. He's Cold just a living highlight reel. And Mommy can reel. maybe recontest. And Team Retro is going to take team the retro. first point. Team Retro versus Team Mommy. I think that's what we go. Yeah. No, it's Team Retro against Team Fireheart. I like Team Mommy. You like Team Mommy? All right, yeah. I guess we're going with Team Mommy here. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm a Team Mommy fan, to be honest. You think? Let's go see. Uh, what do we got over here? Mommy's POV should be F10. Nope, F9 then. Here we go. There's Mommy right there. Team What's Mommy. Looks like a Reinhardt rush kind of setup going up. Uh, they have a Bastion on their team, on Retro's team. That. I like that skin though. That is a team nice Retro. Skin. We get the Reinhardt, Lucio, Bap, 
Bastion and Hanzo. So they're going to be looking to push really heavily here, and their Bastion's going to try and break shield as quickly as possible on this poor Reinhardt. This Reinhardt has no idea what he's coming in for. Team Fireheart's looking to try and pick off the tank and separate him from the team with the May. Oh, they this is the wall one. off their own team. Mommy's, Mommy's looking for a rotate. Oh. Retro, little low. Whiskers falls. Hun oh, Retro she falls. Pushed. Retro's dead. It's just up to the Bastion and the Lucio. And there it goes. And there goes the Lucio, just that the bat. Nice sweep. Left. Let's go to See the Reinhardt POV here. Playing a little aggressive. Getting up to the choke. Trying to hold them off. See how Khan man uses the shatter because he's got one coming up. Oh, he's, oh Retro's Bobby, that Retro up. falls. The wall oh. is insane. Big shatter big against shatter. all of them. Massive that is a main shatter. Tank difference. Tank diff. Tank diff and chat. Who is this retro guy? Oh tank my. Tank diff and chat right there, ladies and gentlemen. Con man with the huge shatter. Massive shatter over here. See the bash and throw pick not off. Have shatter. Bastion, oh, Bastion walled got walled off. off. He's gonna get picked off. Ooh, that is a and huge the pick. And the retro team's gonna retro have to shattered. back up. Well, he might. If I was playing, if I was retro, I would and, stand there. Ooh, Hakushi almost got picked off Shadow, by Khan. Man, turn that fight. Gonna have to back up real quick. Retro teams regrouping, getting back into the point. Retro's pushing up ahead of his team, kind of like he does in our normal here. games. Yeah, he has Shatter. He has to. He has to try and out tempo Khan Man real quick. Retro oh, does gonna have try, a shatter. He's going to have to look at the big It gets blocked by Conman. Massive beat, too, oh, by Average Joey. The window. Conman, oh, he's gonna, Retro falls. Firehearts, both immortalities popped and gone. Mommy gets a big pick onto Whiskers with the visor. <laughs> How did Conman live? Conman somehow live? living here. Oh, bad. 83% for Team Fireheart. They're going to have to figure out something over here for Retro. Oh, another Big shatter. shatter coming up. Oh, massive, God. massive shatter. And the May alt coming down as well. And that's a team diff right there. Who massive team retro? kill for Team Fireheart. Oh, and it's like a one-to-one -one into... Call, or what is it? Is it... Uh, what, what's the... It's uh, the Bongo one. Yeah. I don't remember what it's I called. Know, I, I think it's Sanctuary? No. 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 No, that's Nepal. That's Nepal, yeah. I don't know what this one's called. I have no idea. Something. That it's, has a big It's, bongo it's got a big bongo in the middle. Yep. They're going to switch up. Oh, Retro Doomfist. Retro Doomfist. Absolutely wonderful. Retro Doomfist wonderful. is something that we have to watch. This. A lead oh. Oh. oh, he switched the skin. Switching too. to Sigma. Oh, he switched the thing. He's got his, his uh, Dallas, Dallas. Dual support. Absolute mad team. fan oh, I'm of. I'm gonna play Fuel. Sigma against Sigma. I think I want to watch. Let's watch some Whiskers. I want to watch the Sojourn here. Some Zev gameplay on the Sojourn. Sojourn is one of those characters that is really dynamic and fun to watch. I Very think. high pick potential here. If you they are max running the May on the other team. Oh, oh Zeb Sojourn. gets walled off. Oh, mortality field for fire. Oh, Whiskers gets picked off by Jeff. Big pick by Jev here. Zeb. Average Joey's gonna fall low. They're gonna have to run back. Sojourn is Ooh, so Hawkins scary gets on this map. Followed by Fireheart too. Sojourn is Team so scary. Fire. Con man picks off Colton as well, and Dude. Team Fireheart is gonna get the point first. This looks like it's a reverse. The first it might map, be a reverse first map was just so dominant in by Team, team retro. retro. It was amazing how well they People played. People are saying rigged in the chat. It is not rigged. I promise. Promise it's not rigged. Type 1 in the chat if you like the stream. <laughs> Tank Canyon for real over here by uh, Diane the Table. Oh, Mr. Whiskers gets a pick. Oh! Colton Jev. Average Joey falls to Retro Switch and Team to... Retro. The Lucio gameplay. Comments on the fall yeah. and Ryohart and Retro is gonna. Team Retro is gonna control the point here. First time they've controlled the point in the last two maps. 
Lucio is one of those characters that has to set tempo, but it is kind of hard for a Lucio to move around his Sigma because the Sigma wants to stay back, yeah. not fight close. This is more of a poke comp, especially you want to maintain the height here this and is not get picked off. Or less to run out of situations. Oh! Ooh. Big pick by Zevin Fireheart. Take oh, off Cold and Hakushi. Come back. Whiskers picks off Jonas and Fireheart. Whiskers, the god. Wow. Whiskers just putting on a Whiskers show. is literally just carrying the, the absolute crap out of the I don't, team. I don't know who Retro is retro. anymore. It's just Whiskers. This is the Whiskers show. I yeah, guess. Retro is, I think, overrated at this point. I think we can all just agree that Whiskers is the carry on this team. Should just be Team uh, Whiskers and not Team Retro. But Team Mommy is still doing insanely well. I know I know, Con Man has been insane, but you can't deny Team Mommy. Team Fireheart's got game. some pretty big alts coming up. They have uh, lasers. They pop window. Shazev, uh, pop window and lasers. Well, big beat coming over Fireheart here by... Quick because window so, is popped. See if they can do anything with it. Team Fireheart's going to control the point. P points does flip. Transcendence popping for Team Fireheart. Healing Retro, thinking that they're on the same team. Bash and all oh. is coming out for Colton. Oh, Big pick on to Mommy. Fireheart and Joey fall along this with Common. a close match. Team wow. Retro is going to regain possession of the point. 66% and counting to 59% for Team Fireheart. This is going to be one of the last fights of this map. I can't wait to see what these guys produce out of here. Colton picks up big wow. pick off. Team Fireheart's gonna have to try and regroup over here. Switch to Mr. Whiskers here because they have the advantage. Whiskers big all coming up. Oh, Retro has. Retro flux. is gonna have flux here. Feet. He's gonna have to get something big oh, here. He gets antied. Visor popped by mommy. He does not want to pick picks them up. Picks off right now. the immortality field. Picks off Hakish. Kana picks off Hakashi. And they're going to have to look to contest the point. Forces oh. overtime. Gets picked off. So Overtime. Rocks. Counting down. Zev falls. Oh, what a rock. And Fireheart falling as well. Yep, rock. And last but not least, Average Jonas and Conman on the point. And it's just going to be and a victory team for Mr. Team Whiskers. Retro. <laughs> or Team Retro. That was fantastic. Big win over here by Team Retro. And Swap over to... I believe that we are probably, I think they're playing a best of three. Zav with, with the play, play of, the, of game. the game here. Big May Wall with oh, the this sh is, way alt oh, of the shadow. Common retro L here. <laughs> For real. A team kill. Absolute beautiful Only stuff. Only reason we are... Uh, oh, wrong one. <laughs> Only reason we are talking a bit bit more openly about retro he is our captain so he is our captain we expect a lot out of him and we he just haven't seen is that a lately. senior this is going to be his last time with the team before graduating this uh this winter i guess yeah in a couple of weeks actually so, I, mean, I mean it's been looking he's been looking pretty good but he normally plays dps so it is kind of interesting seeing him on the tank yeah, you don't, was you a don't tank player anymore. in the past though. Yeah, you so. can see some of it. Not yeah. on Reinhardt though. Not on the Rhine. His Reinhardt gonna is gonna get gift every pick. day, unfortunately for him. Yeah, that that is that is not his pick. I you could see more comfortable on the Sigma, a 100%. lot more comfortable on the Queen. Probably more used to Queen rush comps instead of Ryan. But yeah, and then Con Man just looking. Fantastic. Con Man looked amazing. And I think Connor was everything to carry for Team Fireheart, but Whiskers really stole oh, the show, yeah. I think, with like the way he just picked off so many people. And Zev's like alt as well, you know, getting uh, play of the game. And um, just head back over. Yeah. It's the second one. This one? Second one, yeah. No, second one. Yeah, that one. All right, now we're back. Sorry. Still learning the interface. 
Oh, we get, we have There's to watch the, the ball. ball Con man play. ball. Is it one, 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 one. Oh, he's going to Arissa. Oh, it's seven. She's going to the ball. There you go. There we go. Con man on the ball. He doesn't have the, the funny man. skin, unfortunately. Does not have the funny skin. We are interested. Team to see Fire ran a really interesting comp here. They're running kind of like a dive with the ball, but they have Anna Mercy with a Sojourn and Hanzo. Yeah. I'm I can, reading chat here, and, you know, they're talking about Retro turning off his monitor. He does that a lot, actually. He does. I don't think he ever actually play. <laughs> I don't think he ever actually plays with it on. But I'm excited to see the ball here. Ball is very dynamic against this comp. Maybe but actually Yari here is down. also kind Ooh. of a, a big, interesting pick. You don't really see it a lot. You see the ball flanking. Oh, pushing them Big down. knocks off. A lot that of is an amazing so ball play right there. Amazing ball play. Forces the uh, Sojourn, or the Alari and the Soldier off the height. They're going to have to fall oh. down. Picks the Bastion oh, down. Misses the slam. Colton does pick off Zev, though. The Bastion is going to eat this ball alive. He's stuck. This ball is falling low. Oh, so is, is the Bastion. Mommy falls. Zev gets rezzed by Fireheart. The one problem with ball is that they don't have a person to stand in front of them for that Bastion. That Bastion is going to be pretty oppressive for them. They're going to have to regroup and... Yeah, dude. Yeah. Beautiful ball POV. Dude, he's been fantastic. Conman is just an elite player, so we have to. But... We will swap... Oh, okay, let him off get the slam hype. down. Oh, gets rocked. Gets just also CC'd. Let's switch POVs real quick. Oh, oh. let's go to Retro's POV. Gotta feed into his ego here. Gotta feed it in. I mean, he's not. Pick really on average, anything. Joey. The alt on the point to force off Team Retro. He really is. Uh, he's dragon. Questionable dragon there. Doesn't really force anybody off there. Then we could switch we do, over to there somebody is else. Coming up. Oh. We'll go to Yari alt is gonna be a big one to see. Oh, he gets okay. picked off by the Hanzo. Gonna watch some mercy some, some game. Fireheart play. mercy gameplay here. We love mommy mercy is a little low. Play. Gonna get re Ooh, retro falls to mommy. Retro casually feeding as he normally does. That's kind of like his whole thing. It's like retro. I feed. Like that's that's his whole. It's tag. kind of like what he does on a day to day yeah. basis. Honestly, and that's good for him. Like good for him, man. We're gonna switch off. The, oh, here we go. He doesn't Watch get on the leaderboard oh. much, so, you know, he just has to get on there at some point. The Zev Hanzo. The Zen Yada gameplay is kind of elite. Alright, Team Fireheart's going to capture the point, and they're going to start pushing the payload. Ooh, big pick onto Colton here. It's common Sigma. Going to get up on the height. Ooh, Ooh the big sick. rock. Yep, rock. Big rock. Alari is so hard to deal with. Team Retro with has that. so many alts here. Yep, rock again. Yeah. Team Fireheart's going to have to reset Ooh. there. Let's go. Stay on, stay on that one. You can watch this one. Just Mercy Pocket. Just pick one just to stay on so then it's easier. If we keep flipping, then everyone's going to get confused because this game's hard enough. I suppose. Rock down to the height. Team Retro trying to maintain that height presence to not allow Team Fireheart to push the payload. Mommy's coming in from a behind. Dragon, dragon. trying to move them off of that high ground. Mommy taking that high ground falls Ooh, to Retro. Retro. Oh, didn't see the Bastion behind them. We'll swap over to Hakushi. Oh, ben Nano. Nano Visor. Visor is winning the way. Hakushi is 1 HP. Getting healed up. Big flux by Conman. Gets a pick onto Colton. Conman falls. Big picks here. And they're just going to stagger. In a pubs game, they're staggering. Pubs. That is 
This That's is awful. Massive disrespect here. I would get yelled at by Retro until we have the been map is at. over. Oh, of course. By Retro. By Retro. Of course. All right, we're going to go over to Miss the Whiskers here. The <laughs> absolute mastermind. The DPS player in our third game. He will be playing DPS. But support for the uh, you know, little show match. Big anti-nade by Whiskers there, wow. too. Just They're going to the, pop three ults there. The, the, just the most common alt combo just to win the game. It's just... Yari and... Uh, the flex. Yeah. And emoting here using the beach ball. <laughs> Dang. Wow. I would get yelled at by Retro for that one for sure. Oh, yeah. We try I to emote all the time. I tend to heroic when I'm moving the payload myself. Yeah, because you are our payload princess. Mm -hmm. We do like you there. Yep. I am the payload princess from time to time. Swap over there. Switching over to Mommy's POV. Yep. We're going to see what the planning has railgun the height here. Soon. One minute remaining on the clock for I this just, offense for a fire. This overclock might be game winning here, or just round winning. They're going to need some big ults they're, here. They're, they're they're gonna gonna here. And Team Retro just absolutely destroying. We're going to keep on right here. Mommy's POV so then we could see this overclock. Yeah, That'd go ahead. Good. I think the overclock here will be... This is going to be if they move on to the second checkpoint or not. Yeah. They're, they're saying hi to each other. They're talking. Yeah, if they As you can see in Overwatch, it's very tactical at start of fights. And then the... Oh! oh instantly to swap at POVs. That was, that was mean. Some bash again. Oh! Mommy's going to get res. Hakashi falls to the dragon. Oh, oh, Colton wow. is getting a little low here. I can't believe Holt. Slowly moving the payload. Retro falls onto the point to try oh, to contest. Oh, and the huge ER. Big alarm. In the oh, flux. And flux. This Massive should be out. off the point. Oh, overtime force. the rock. Hawk is she. In, or mommy falls. Average Joey falls. Fireheart's dead. And last one alive is just Con Man to try and contest. And he is going to fall as well. Big defense here from Team Retro. See how they can do on the attack. But... Team Retro does have to take that first checkpoint, which is pretty hard to do, I would say, on Hollywood. If you have a good defense, sometimes Hollywood can be really hard to take over. They're going to need a good defense if yeah. they're going to want to They, you know, they most playing. likely will get one. because Team Retro took the first map, so they're going to want to continue this. They're going to have to yeah. to move forward here and hold them. Con man indicating to the crowd that he's going to pick something funny. Oh no. Arissa gameplay. Retro ball. Retro ball. I want to see that. Oh, he's emoting in the spawn. I'd get yelled at. Gold gun on the ball? Crazy. Looking like a. I feel oh, like he's going to swap. There's, I, yeah. there's no way he stays on ball. He did I'm promise that you that he would go ball in one of the matches. He did. He say did. That. He did say. Because I am a ball enthusiast as well. Ball and doom enthusiast. Yeah, it looks like Team Fireheart's looking for more of a bunker comp with the Arissa and the Bat. This that their comp is just nasty. It's gonna be gross. Yeah. I like that we get ball gameplay on both sides. On the so attack. Then we, so then everyone gets their happy ball gameplay. The junk rat. I don't know how ball is going to actually be able to engage here. Yeah, especially this, with the Arissa. This might have to be just a swap. Ooh, the Echo 2 is going to be... And he's immediately oh, and he's just getting immediately down, scared. Yeah. Yep, this is just... This is Overwatch. Fireheart is anti. He's going for the... Oh, that was a this massive... This is just try to approach me. Big That's spear. It. Oh, but a huge pick on Mommy. From Big Hakushi. Helix Rockets. Retro's trying to get into the height. Retro doesn't Trying to slam. knock off Common. Common is getting a little low here. He's going to back up. Retro Ooh. might fall here. Oh, good heals. He's going to find a health pack. Swap over Switching to, over to the, the Whiskers, Whiskers gameplay. 
Anti nade gets oh, a that big a splash indeed. onto Zev here. Oh, and Whisk is just owning the game. He it's really just does his just game. destroy everyone. Big We're sleep on Mommy world. too. We're just in his world. And a big anti onto Command too. Wow. And wow, there's wow, gonna be wow. about a five minute time bank for Team Retro to push it to halfway through uh, the checkpoint ones. They're going to have a lot of time I here. I don't know who the nano target will actually be. It might be Hakashi, but they're not close enough to... I could see a meme nano onto Retro or a meme nano onto uh, the Zenyatta, potentially. Yeah, I could too. I think we gotta, we're going to hold off on watching that and watch some Fireheart gameplay. See how they're setting up their bunker against this ball. Ball is very annoying to play against. Yeah, they're really gonna have to maintain this height and not allow they're Team Retro to push. They're also gonna have to stay together as Big much sleep as possible. Big but the mines are gonna push them Does off of need... the height. Oh, they're pushed down. They might need the oh Con no. Man's big anti, big Immor. Huge Immor. They're gonna have to probably pop window here. Retro on the height. Zayden and Colton both fall. Zev is going to get picked off by Retro. Team Retro is probably going to have to regroup here. A big and oh, Whiskers falls to Conman. He's continuously pushing in. Kicks off Hakashi as well. Retro trying to be a thorn on the side of I this just don't, back line. I don't... This is interesting. I... I don't see why they didn't use window that fight. I would have windowed. I probably would have windowed, but I mean, it kind of worked out in yeah, the long run here. They're going to have window. I just didn't need it. Oh, they're have window. Well. Oh, he's big fine. rip tire and a duplicate. They're going to... Comment pops con all. Man. Doesn't really get much. Whiskers con does man, fall, though. Mommy's all falling low here. Fireheart is 1 HP. Zev picks off Colton on the duplicate. De Zev Bob from the duplicate. He picks off Jaden as well. Retro trying to contest here. He's going to have to just dissipate away. Zeb no longer on the duplicate. Team Retro does not have any alts besides... They're going to have Bob and Mines coming up. There is still three minutes to play. Still yeah, three minutes. There is a lot of time. Team Fireheart game. just picked off Retro. They have Window. And they have Nano. And they have um, Riptire as well. This is the most Orisa gameplay we have seen. This is just, uh, you just sit there and uh, let your uh, supports uh, heal you. Yep, you just, the whole time. You just do what you just You just stand. do Orisa things and shoot your gun. Well, Bob in. Bob is going to get anteed and just get destroyed, destroyed instantly. Ooh, uh, Whiskers in gets hit in the trap. And Conman picks him off. Mommy does fall, but Zeb picks off Jaden. Hakashi as well. Colton wow. falls. Oh, that's not allowed here. Boo. We don't allow that here. We do not. Uh, we do not, we do not endorse, condone that we at do all. Not condone. It is a pub match. So this is a pub game. They, they are. It is friendly. We don't condone that sort of gameplay here. No, we we're do not sorry for that. those viewers at home uh, that witnessed that. And we got a little under two minutes left in the time bank for Team Retro, and it's looking like we Ooh. might get a map three here. Mines in the back line. Retro's stock. Oh, he's falling asleep. Gonna have to nano him. He's going to have to nano him. Conman does fall. I don't know why we didn't have the nano there, but... Um, it's okay. It's we do have this duplicate happens. from Zev. Maybe they just didn't think it was worth it? I mean, maybe. We do have Conman coming back with an alt. Fireheart still holding on to that, um, I think, initial uh, yeah, window there. The same window. You build windows so whiskers just looking for the Oh, oh Joey's tank. fall retro falls right after that. Arguably the tank is bigger in this situation here. Yeah, ball is literally all their distraction. Ooh, if they Zeb's don't fall, fall. that's a big, big all investing yeah. the nano as well onto the Ooh. Ooh, they invested nano onto the bastion. We're gonna have to see a big recontest here. Um, oh, under they, a minute left. I don't know if they have time. They have about 30 meters to go. Oh, that's just They're looking to pick off Joey. He's going to make it here. Oh, Two yeah. meters left. Going to contest. Why is it bugged? Zev falls to Whiskers. Ball on the point to contest. Falls. 
And looks like it's going to be a C9. And Team Retro takes the pub game. And that's Hollywood for you, folks. Uh, third one. And that was uh, the, the the first pub game. Uh, Team Retro versus Fire. So they're not going to be playing another one, right? Or uh, will they be playing one more? I don't know if they're going to play all three. They might. It looks like they might. They're, they're not. not. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be playing um, the final one. Okay. So, I think yeah. we probably have to start getting ready. Yeah, we might have to start getting ready soon. Um, to play our match. Good. GG's from everyone. Because we also only have like... Shout out to Con Man for putting his team on his back and oh, yeah. playing like an absolute mad lad, but unfortunately... Uh, his team could not help him. Yep. Because Whiskers is the GOAT. Yeah. He is the greatest of all time. He really just put this team on their back. Yeah. I don't Even know. though Retro was feeding it's, that whole entire game somehow. It seems like they are going to play a third. I don't know if they actually... Um, it looks like there's going to be some discussion on whether or not they're going to be playing the third one yet. Going to be playing the third one. They are going to be playing the third. That Sounds makes good. it really nice for us trying to get um, our stuff set and ready. Yeah, it would be nice if we had food, though. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hungry right I'm now. I'm hungry as well. Might ask Raspberry if uh, we can get some some grub. They got a bagel over there. Just it, do we have to pay? You think? I'm down to pay. Yeah, that bagel looks good. Dude, Einstein's the the shit. For real, oh, it is. I, I get Einstein bagel every morning before. Sounds okay. good. Coliseo. I don't... I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a 10-minute, like, max. It's, it's Yeah, it's 10 minutes, and, like, if they push it all the way, it can be, like, 3 minutes. So, yeah. Like, max is probably, like, 12 with overtime. In my brain, I only know Overwatch 1. Yeah. In my brain, I only know Overwatch One as well, and I play. I just Overwatch wish Goats, too. Goats was still a thing. Goats would be fun. Goats was so boring to watch live, though. <laughs> like, yeah, it was fun to play. All right, gonna move over to the game. All right, who are we, who are we expecting Hakushi right now? Uh, let's see this Widow gameplay, actually. Let's see some Widow gameplay by, uh, Colton. I do, I do enjoy watching the Widow. It feels like Conman is a fan favorite here. We lost a lot of, uh, the people watching, but that's okay. I mean, I think they finally understood that it is the pub match and it isn't Eau Claire playing. Whiskers casually in the chat, even though he's currently playing. Looking to see if we can get a pick here. Retro is gonna fall right away. Falls early. Whiskers trades with. He's gonna pick up Mommy. Jaden falls. Both teams are even. Team Fireheart pushing the payload see. currently. Oh, and Colden's gonna just get destroyed oh, by Con Man there. Watch some Con Man. Everyone's some favorite. Elite gameplay. corner my mom texted me to stop texting oh because she saw me on my phone earlier when i was sending her the link to the stream oh wow big nice fight game. here it looks like team fireheart's gonna come out on top retro getting healed up though seems like a picking lot of off fireheart and right joey yeah, yeah they're team, going to back up team fireheart's gonna have to back up here and team retro is gonna start getting to some meterage. Oh, that was a, that was a big, big knife. knife from Retro there. Absolutely massive knife to pick off Con Man. And they're going to just keep pushing forward. No one's pushing. Okay, there we go. 
They stopped pushing the bot for a second there. They're gonna try and they get aggressive. The bot. Yeah, they just keep stop pushing the bot. Uh, slight feeding here Whiskers. by Retro. Gonna get in there. Whiskers job. My heart's gonna fall. Bot, and I he okay. doesn't listen very well. <laughs> I guess the uh, aggressiveness by Team Retro is gonna pay off. Okay. Retro and is currently just in their spawn. He's right in now. their spawn at, at their door. Thirty meters and counting for Team Retro. They're gonna retro. probably get the checkpoint here. They're going to pass Team Fireheart, and 41 meters and counting. They have a Kitsune rush. Ooh, Ooh big oh, ult, but the Kitsune. Flies. Yep. Oh, Ooh. that still falls. Oh, that's a big ult by Retro. And Retro falls. Big ult by Zev there. going to pick off three, and Look every they're going to come time A Junker Queen is on screen. The game gets like 30 times louder. It's just great. My thing broke. <laughs> we'll get some Lucio gameplay. Watch some engaging action. Whoops. <laughs> Ooh. Falls early. Jones in a fall. A big, a big visor by Hakushi picking off two. Looks like Conman's in a little low. They're gonna have to back up here. Mommy just running around. Just Team Retro looking to take back the payload. Wow, big all ball. by Conman. And they're gonna have a window. Retro picks off two. Con man gets Colton. Trying to use that window to their full effect. Ooh, Team Fireheart's down. Both supports oh, and like a DPS. And, oh, team wow. Retro's gonna regain Staggering possession again. of the Bob. I feel like there is a Junker Queen diff. It's just because Retro has Whiskas behind him. It's just, it, it seems almost just yeah. unfair. Like, there's... Mm. Whiskers just is doing so much this game. He is a professional for a reason. Ooh, he might get picked here. Retro falling low. He's going to look to Whiskers to keep again. him alive. Bastion's getting low. That was a interesting MO, and the Bastion just runs away from it, too. No, he got pulled by the knife. Ooh, oh, big oh. by Con Man there to deny them and it's gonna go back and team fireheart's gonna look to, we'll to try set. and get the checkpoint and get the advanced spawns and surpass team retro and meter ridge wow, Ooh, zev bastion gets immediately picked off by zev zev with the big valorant aim. Pick. oh my <laughs> massive pick by the valorant player is zev someone check his computer oh wow. gosh and it's looking like Team Fireheart's gonna get the checkpoint and get the advanced spawns. While also surpassing Team Retro in meterage. I wanna keep watching this. The aim is so smooth on Zed. The elite aim from the Valorant player. Mommy's oh. gonna fall though. Team Retro's gonna look to push back. Conman falling a little low. Conman oh. dies. The beat was a little late, yeah. and Fajo and Joey are gonna die as well. The Bastion is gonna have to, you know, just kind of vibe while his teammates respawn. We're gonna let's get some retro gameplay. How you think? I want to move over to the Bastion POV because this could be a huge pickoff by the alt here, because the alt is gonna have to come early in this fight. It's gonna have to come early. Oh. Doesn't use it. Ooh. It's cleansed. That was a interesting alt. Oh wow! The Colton just let's see if they use visor here. There. I doubt you. Oh, oh no. Team just Fireheart, I think take this just one. Running through them. Yeah, the supports. This, this might be a little bit of a it's just, just a queen a gap. This is just this is the biggest queen gap I've seen all day. Retro is getting uh, bullied for what he did earlier. Yeah, touching and, the and spawn pushing door. the spawn. Yeah, you yep. just don't do that. Nope. It's it's a pubs game, you know. Common got what he deserved earlier for teabagging. Yeah. But uh, you know, Retro's getting what he deserves for the uh, the, the 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 spawn door. 
Oh, Kitsune the rush coming in. out. Big. Wow, big cleanse by both. Jaden falling. Big visor from Zev picking off Jaden and Colton. Retro look is going to fall as wow. well. Big picks. 110 meters and counting. 14 fire. They might full complete the map with 245 looking Oops. left to go. There we go. Let's go to Mommy's POV. 224 meterage with two and a half minutes left. Oh, but, oh big all oh, fire hot falls. Team Fire is going to have to back up here. They're down their main support. Team Retro's will pick Ooh, off wow. Mommy. Big pickoff. That's a big stagger from Team Retro there. We'll go to, we'll go to some Retro POV. See he how does this have the Queen Rampage Ultimate. Goes. This is going to have to be a big ult because they're going to have to get to the checkpoint and push to. They're going to have to pretty much complete the whole thing. They will have if to. They have, if they they're they're going to have to force out cleanse though first. Yeah. And. Um, oh, it looks like Retro's getting forced back. Yeah, he's getting forced back. Because. Uh, what was that? Colt or Conman fault? Colton, Colton died from Team Retro. I feel like Retro's going to have to. He's going to have to pop the ult here. Yeah, he's just going to ult. Oh, Conman. Alts first. Oh, it doesn't get cleansed. Whiskas falls. Ooh. Retro's gonna fall as well. And I mean, I think Retro has to pop his alt there if they want to win that fight. I yeah. know he's wanting to, you know, wait for the kids or the cleanse to go out, but they don't have anything to like really, you know, force. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're just gonna to, like, keep pushing cleanse, forward. So. This Zev gameplay is just the aim is so smooth. The visor and the beat on visor on both teams. Retro still yeah. holding on to his alt. Colton falls. Visor from Zev yeah. picks off the Hakushi. Hakushi no longer is able to use his visor. Whiskers falls. Huge. Alt. Retro finally uses his alt too late. Jaden yes. falls as well. Cleanse yeah. used by Fireheart, and Retro's gonna fall. Fireheart pops the Kitsune Rush. Colton falls. The stagger is coming through. Zev is going to fall from the visor. And they're going to complete the entire and map. It. And that is going to be the end of the pubs game. With Team Retro uh, winning two maps to one. And Team Fireheart taking the final map on push. Yeah. You know, the only player from uh, UWO Claire that's playing their actual position was Fireheart. Yeah. And I would say, I mean, Whiskas, he's a support player, but he's playing DPS for us. So yep. he still played an excellent game on support. I think we are... We might be heading uh, onto the stage ourselves.
Hi, uh, I'm Alex, Mr. Whiskers. Hi, uh, I'm Zev, and I go by Jade. A little bit, uh, a little bit about me is I used to play Overwatch. Um, typically, play, uh, right now I'm playing Valorant for the university, and I am competing in Halo on the side. So it's a little bit about me. I play. I I'm a big Overwatch guy. Um, still my main game. I <laughs> play for uh, University of Wisconsin. <laughs> Eau Claire. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, today we're looking at a game from UW Stevens Point Purple versus yep. Blue Gold Esports. And today uh, with Blue Gold Esports, this is the varsity team playing. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to be looking for a little, little bit of well practiced Overwatch. Uh, not as much pickup game as what was previously just played. Um, Alex and I were going ham on ham against each other, <laughs> oh, but yeah, uh, yeah it, was a, it was a lot of fun, so I believe we are just about ready, and we're going to be getting into it. You got the good from Prod? Cool. Looking like Yeah. All right. Rolling out here on Li Jing Tower. Probably looking for some brawl here. Maybe maybe they TP window. We've seen this very very often here. Yeah, typically we, in Overwatch one we saw a lot of a uh, lot of Ryan played here. A lot of Ryan's are Ryan Diva at your higher level uh, scrims. But um, with Overwatch two being that there is that only only that one tank, uh, I, I think we're going to see a little bit of a mix. Maybe some Zar, maybe some Diva, uh, maybe a solo Ryan. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. Arissa Brawl is interesting. With the Sim TP, that does enable a lot of play here. They could just look to poke and then speed in to capitalize on picks or cooldowns. Lugol, not quite clear what they're playing yet. Looks like Sig. All right, Stevens Point gets the TP. Oh, oh immediately my. picked. On the retro. Two picks, another on Fireheart, and that's that's the first fight. Going in favor of Stevens Point. Already looking at 36% on that uh, Arisa alt. Oh, just cruising. It's going to be hard for Spud to match off, off Rip here. Just being with how close their alt timing will be. But Ooh, Retro gets a pick. They're looking to swing this. Push on that advantage. That sim presence is really oh. killing Spud right now. Still has Spud Eco. Just getting bullied into the corner by that Orisa. Oppressive as heck. See here if... And now they're just poking for backline picks. Gladys can keep Lemonese the up. comes out. Looking for plays here from Stevens Point. Oh, completely zoned off. Although Spud's entire backline is just gone. And that looks like the second fight. Ooh. All right, let's see how Eau Claire seems to uh, take Cover this back. This. They're looking to uh, possibly bap window with that uh, Genji blade. Yeah, this one is gonna have to be a big window. I mean, frankly, it has to get some value here, or it's not looking good. Blade and, oh. 
Oh, caught with out. That pick, it's third fight done. See if Spud can make any cleanup happen, but it's just not enough. They just don't have the cool. Gonna get to make staggered that here and everything. Maybe they. Claire almost five alts online though. Maybe they're looking for flux window, but they do need to pull out that that beat out first. Honestly, best play might be to just blade to pull pull beat out and then flux window for the second. Yeah, I think that could I think that could really work well, especially if they use wheels during that. I think that'll. All right, looking for the flux. They beat that probably. They don't need oh. it. They have window for it. Oh. Uh, lamp. Sorry. Alex with the th 2K. Ooh. Two picks with Bastion ult is massive. And oh my. And only two alts two used alts. from Eau to capture this point back. Wow. However, UWSP purple here. They do have five alts online. So we may see the same type of, uh, type of push here with those wheels and window. And that might be alone enough all on its own. And I mean, Steven's point has the beat to deal with. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Beat's just such a versatile oh. ult. It just gets so much value there. Beat actually keeps Spud alive to stay in this, but it just is not, not enough. enough. And it's looking oh. like that will be Steven's point. Capturing this point and taking them for first round. But no, zoning off point. But at this point, the fight's already over. That is a short and a little bittersweet for Eau Claire. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got some people in chat supporting Lemonies, <laughs> betting their mortgage on oh, Lemon. wow. Big bets. Big bets on Lemonies. I don't know if I would make that kind of a bet, but here we <laughs> are. It was interesting to see how uh, Lemonies just kind of got very, very aggressive, kind of didn't even bother with Spud. And just kind of took out Fireheart and uh, and Smallman really early on. Eau Claire didn't ha really have a response to that. I mean, yeah, if if they ignore Spud and he doesn't cook while they're looking at at his backline, there's just not much they can do. Stop peeking the stream. It that seems like crazy. Retro's a little upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it is just a so show match, but it seems like Alex is here to win it all. <laughs> Uh, we know him. He's uh, he's competitive. He is. <laughs> Let's see if he's got uh, got what it takes to bring this back into Ooh, uh, I'm actually a liking the rotate from Steven's point here. They're flipping the map. But let's go. Blue Gold gets two, three, and that's the fight. At this point, they're that just cleaning up. That sim is so unbelievably strong oh, here. Oh, yeah. Now even stronger, they get to lock the point down. Coming up on Ooh, a uh, risky play there. It seems like Alex is uh, playing a little too aggressive here, not playing quite on top of the sig to see that maximum value. I mean, I'm sure he recognizes it, but they really do need a pick to open this up. Oh, and Fog falls again. Ooh. Genji into this comp is extremely difficult. Uh, Genji and Amei is just never. Although they have time. stabilized. Ugh, but it's too late. Oh, and. Oh, and Claire alt wastes. is out. Oh, that is unfortunate. See if small man can contest point for an extended period of time here. Just give him a little bit more percent. Hopefully, break that forty. Mm, lemon knee's good for two. Very clean Arissa plays we've seen. And honestly, right now in the meta, I'm not seeing a lot of Arissa. Which, but I mean, they're making it work. So. Props. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Arissa's kit just in this brawl format is just so strong. Having that gold and having that stun capability and yeah. the speed it looks like, they're able oh, to catch Small Man out rotating. again. Eau Claire looking to flip point here. <laughs> just caught short, though. <laughs> you can hear. Lemonese, good for two. Maybe... That femboy difference is real. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on lift and sound barrier here. Wonder if we'll see an aggressive sound barrier into a lift. That'll give the Echo big. enough time to see. Oh, there's the opening pick. pick. 
They're open. Oh, and Claire it's will be it's looking big. for this. Although a small man oh. keeps getting caught out. Small man just keeps dying. Oh, he died with feet. Ajax. He just Ajaxed. He did. Oh my gosh. Oh, there goes there goes their their counter condition for for the May alt. This Blizzard is kind of free, although Retro pulling back. Able to get three during that Ooh. fight to stabilize for Claire. I mean, if they live past the mid fight, they get uh, Sim to tier three. She just melts. Yeah, she, that's she just melts. Just like in Overwatch one. Oh yeah. Sim is quite strong during the mid fight, and you know, as strong as this Lemonese Arisa is, I don't know if it's enough with the <laughs> DPS output that Sim brings to the table. Interesting that we haven't used lift here. Oh, it's caught big. the bap out. Misses the shot. Finally gets the bap. B comes out from Steven's point. Wall is out. Bastion ult from. Yeah, and there it is. Wow. Use a lot of ults. Swift the fight. decision making from Eau Claire. Able to secure another team kill. Eau Claire down, what, three alts from that fight? Yep. Did use dupe as well during late, late during that Super fight. Points looking for an early pick here out of the Bastion all. Big slam and it picks. Small man again. goes down oh, again. That Lemonese gap is just oh, it is it's palpable. quite large here. Although this Sig is cooking Hold right now. Spud to not hands Spud the Spud is the just not dying. He is creating so much space for the rest I mean, of the player. Why, that's why Sig is kind of the meta pick right now. He just has a lot of survivability and a lot of versatility. He never dies. He just rotates his cooldowns and lives. Yeah, and I think what we're seeing from Spud is just a clear demonstration oh. of how strong Sig can truly be when you have his mechanics and timings down. No kidding. Misses the rock Steven's onto point. that Lucio. He's getting a lot of touches here. Oh, big beat. The Maybe stall that's the from the season oh. point. Oh, oh and barely a C9. Very strong round from Eau to bounce back from that first round. True. It'll be interesting to see what comp we see. We've seen Arisa brawl. We've seen some ball touch. A lot of uh, a lot of Sig though from Eau Claire. I wonder if we're gonna stick with this Eau Claire or stick with the Sig pick here from Eau Claire, or if we're gonna swap it up and go dive to match this Echo. Oh yeah, I think especially on this map, you can kind of run anything. If I'm being real, you can poke. Yeah. You can brawl. You can dive. I'd like to see a, a strong dive here, but I think I think with the DPS output that Retro's bringing to the table with this sim, uh, Steven's point just can't really match it. So they're not really... I doubt they'll swap. I actually think a, a dive might be good for them. If they try and take the fight fast before they get that beam charge up, I, it might be good for them. That's true. Yeah, you make a good point. If they can outpace the uh, the wheels that Steven's point's bringing out right now. Wheels out. Trading this might be the opening for Claire here. Although, no they, they have to, to keep walk. the sim up. We're poking. Steven's point, Lamp comes out second. That's what you want to see. You want your Lamp coming out last. Oh, and Bastion gets wheels again. Although, Steven point already have window. Oh my and god, And this is what going to be a game changing. Retro, struggling here. Ah. Tough. Wow, that, what a window build. First fight. Very wow. impressive window build from Glads. Gladys? Glads? However you pronounce it. I apologize if I'm butchering that. Killing it on the on the Baptiste right now. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator Ooh. doubting vitamin C? Big pick out of fire. <laughs> oh. A tough death row, Claire. That gives him another 20% on this point. Although, Eau Claire is looking at that lift and duplicate here. Coming up on window here, too. He could just lift into the window. There's the dupe. There's, There's the, the lift. lift. Oh, oh gets got stung. rocked. Massive. Oh, my God. What a rock. Gladys is doing everything they possibly can here to keep them up. What a spear out of Lemonies. Gladys is doing God's work back here. This is quite a masterclass on how to play BAP in this Brawl meta. Oh yeah. Playing about one corner behind. Although, almost the boop from Eau Claire. There they go. Oh, this is down for the count. It looks like Eau Claire takes the point. Oh, 
or can they hold it? That is the question. Stevens Point is coming up on four alts here. Oh yeah, See, those interesting. alts I think are, are the momentum they need here. Wheels is low there. Both lamps staying up. alive from Gladys. Ooh, Conman looking for a huge alt. Window here. from Eau Claire out here. Lift, but it looks like it misses. But that sim wall. Window directly into the sim wall. Maybe they burst it. It's gonna negate that bap window entirely. Stevens Point coming up on seventy percent here. Ooh, big kill on Gladys, and that's the fight. Unless Sim and there's the three. Oh, there it is. Eau Claire looking to take this point back and work their way back into this eighty percent range that that uh, Stevens Point is currently operating in. Big retake play. I That's think true. If, they, if they didn't back off immediately, they don't. They don't do that. They don't pull that back. Yeah, I think you're right. Lot of lemonese. Oh yeah, lemonese uh, enjoyers here in chat. Although, Gladys with the window. Big window. Matching the lift. There's two. Three for Eau Claire. For an oh, echo copy? still only two. Was unable to kill with that focusing beam. Now it's just stragglers. Unless these three can but really But if Vog cook. dies here. Oh, Vog. Forcing out dupe. Forces, yep. This is actually good for Steven's point here. Ooh. They were to get three alts out of this. That's true. Only beaten wall. Maybe Fireheart builds an early window, but other than that, we're not looking at too many aggressive alts. Yeah, you make a good point. I think of season at point. At the same time, though, uh, we don't. I mean, there's beat for for whatever aggressive alt they try anyway. So that's a good point. Eau Claire does have the sim wall as a defensive alt here, though, completely negating this white wall push. Honestly, Stevens Point doesn't even need a peek here. They can just completely wait out this sim wall. Yeah, Build off that back window. Engaging with the wind or Engaging the uh, beat, barrier huge. here. Wheels is down. A huge late beat from Eau Claire. And it looks like Vogue is good for two, three. I can't count. Someone get me a calculator. <gasps> Vogue is going crazy right now. Oh my. On this Echo. I'm Clear taking, demonstration I'm from Eau Claire. Right now. See this point is able to get the touch, but just barely falls short. The number That's advantage point. is just too strong for Eau Claire right point. now. <laughs> Picking those backliners like boogers from that chat. That is crazy. That, that is, is a insane. wild statement. It looks like UW Eau Claire takes the first map. Able to bring it back after it that first round loss. Best of three? I best believe three? it is a best of three uh, showcase match here. Bringing out the wheels play of the game from Eau Claire's retro. Huge combo with that lift. Absolutely massive. Rolls out the wheels to get the cleanup crew. And that single-handedly brought Ooh. them back into that round. Although they did fall short. They did sure. end up losing that round. Looking like we got some matching icons here. Seems like we're running some blue-gold colors from the Eau Claire team. And as close as we can get <laughs> from UWSP. I believe their colors are yellow and purple, same as Minnesota Vikings, but I could be incorrect. <laughs> Honestly, that first map, I was thinking I was thinking Stevens Point would take it. Yeah. Coming they were coming out very strong, but Eau Claire did manage to pull it together. That's true. Once they secured that second map, they outbrawled that Arisa comp and you know, once they did that, they just had the, the textbook on how they were gonna counter that Arisa comp into going into map three. And Stephen Point just couldn't, could not clap back on, uh, on the comp diff. True. I wonder if we see maybe the the Rhine mirror here on King's Row, the classic, maybe. You know, it'd be interesting to see a Rhine matchup here. Throw it back to Overwatch One. Everyone calls it Scrim's Row because you know everyone runs the same thing. <laughs> oh, that this may is, this Rhine. Map, this map is played in every scrim, <laughs> every single scrim. I typically start or end with it, from what I remember when I <laughs> oh, used yeah. to scrim this. Oh yeah. Who is Steven and what's his point from Bog <laughs> Nugget? That is a good question. So with Eau Claire leading 1-0 in this series, it is a best of three. Steven's point have to tie this up. If they don't, they will fall short and that will be the end of the show match. It is a GG. Indeed.
<laughs> Morgan Stanley looking to collect on my bet is wild. <laughs> Honestly, reinvest that into a Roth IRA. You're cooking. You're making a living out of lemon. Honestly, you're set. <laughs> you know, you make a good point. <sighs> All right, looks like we are going in here. King's Row. The notorious Ryan Map. Oh, yeah. Throughout Overwatch 1 and 2 here. A fantastic Brawl Map. Lots of outplay potential. Lots of corners. Good to play on. Could run Dive still. Could run Poke still. But honestly, I, I think they do Brawl. I think we go we're looking for a, a team that's playing tight and coordinated together. I think those, those corners... <laughs> Looking like we are bringing out the Rhine from the attacking team here. Somber rush, it seems. Oh, and Although they Eau have Claire the Widow and the Mercy. The Rhine. Come on, Eau Claire. Let's get the Rhine. Yeah. Someone put it in chat. Rhine mirror, Rhine mirror. <laughs> We'd love to see a Rhine mirror on King's Row here, but oh, yeah. it seems like Eau Claire's out for blood today, and they will not be messing around and give Eau Claire or Stevens Point this first point. And I mean, it, it kind of depends on how they play here. I think if Stevens Point wants to run at them, they don't know. I mean, I just realized they don't have a Lucio. They can't really run him down. So, I mean, Sig That's might true. just sit back and poke him. Fire is looking for that opening pick, and he does end up swapping to May. Looking like we're going to get this Ryan rush going here. Still running the Echo. Almost the same comp as last, last map here from Eau Claire. Huge damage Ooh, from that Gladys right click. On Fireheart. And that looks like the first fight's done Bob already. is on a crazy off angle right now, although oh, he yeah. is out of the fight for an extended period of time. Supports are down. It's not looking good for Eau Claire. That's for sure. And that ends up giving Stevens Point the opening they were looking for. Honestly, that's just how it goes. If you lose your flex support, you're kind of done. Let's get a Lemonese POV for chat up in here. <laughs> Lots of Lemonese fans. Huge fire strike there. Almost 80% on this shatter. Wow. Be interesting to see if Spud can block this. That'd be a huge opening for Eau Claire. You see how Ryan is struggling to take that corner. He just sits there with his shield and takes damage. It's kind of what he does against Sig, unfortunately. It does all depend on how they play this next corner, though. That's yeah. a big wall. Oh, massive. It's a Coming huge fire strike. Here. He's looking for it. Looking for that shatter. Sig shield is up. This is a free shatter. There it is. Oh, my God. Big window. They're there on the end. floor but taking a nap after that shatter. Ooh. Almost gets Lemonese. Lemonese, massive play. Lemonese is just thugging it out. <laughs> he is in there. They did not. Stevens White didn't even have to commit window here. It'll be interesting to see how Vogue uses this dupe to, uh, to be able to contest for the second point. Ooh. And look at all that card progress, too. It's, it's looking like there's only going to be one more fight for this point. Oh, and with the window, they can't peek. Oh, and oh, a snipe onto Fireheart. That will almost knock out Eau Claire from contesting this point. Some crazy play here. It, it's they're done. The Ryan dupe out late, but not able to build enough shatter in enough time. The Lucio Orisa stall is crazy there for oh. about thirty seconds, even yeah. without that bat. That's impressive. I mean, I think now now that. The uh, Stevens Point has a Lucio and a May, especially. They just wall off the tank and run at him. I mean, they're just going to keep doing that, and unless unless the Arisa can match match the run in a brawl, I mean. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good point. And I mean, once she's out cooldowns, she is dead. A little early of a Sojourn alt here. Big zoning window. Lucio alt coming out here. Have not found enough damage out. To secure a Ooh, kill for Stevens Point with that Sojalt. Lemony's down. The man of the people falls. Indeed he does. Right to his knees. <laughs> Coming back on respawn though. 
Gladys looking like 80% on that window. Ah, and Lemonese hops off the Rhine. In for the win. Going for the Arisa matchup. Spud is looking like they're Lemonese looking does for not a... stay down. <laughs> <laughs> looking for a pull. Spud cautious to playing this corner. Ooh, he knows if he gets walled, he's done for. Big alt. Oh, almost LOS is it entirely. Ooh. Misses the right click. Lemonese just making massive plays. Three picks. Lemonese, Arisa gapping. The oh. spud player of Eau Claire. Just looked like that. Man of the people today. <laughs> Already 70 and just swapped. Wow. I mean, I'm not a tank player, but man, that is a clean Arisa. Oh, and the oh. Pick Bastion? Oh, it's. Oh, it's. If I was Eau Claire. It's dark. Yeah, it, it is, is dark. quite dark. Hitting both oh right clicks, knock him off the map. Oh, Lord. And that is looking like the it Lemonese is textbook. It's just too big. This is quite a master class from Lemonese here. Wow. Rocking in a whopping three minutes with Stevens Point. That's a lot of time on the clock. Eau Claire is going to have to do very well here if they want to even match that. Yeah, it'll maybe be interesting. What? Maybe maybe two minutes burned off the clock total? Three, four? Yeah, you know. maybe. It'd be interesting to see if if we see a, uh, if Orion comes out on the attack from oh, a player. I would love to see Orion. I would love goal. to see an Orion Virisa here. Let's see if we can get this caster POV all the way back. <laughs> Unfortunate Rewinding that it does not tape. reset. Speeding it. <laughs> and we are back at first point to see Eau Claire's attack. Lemonese rocking out Arisa again. Just absolute masterclass on how to play Arisa in this brawl format. Looking like Eau Claire is going to bring up this Kiri. I don't know if I can say that <laughs> mask. <laughs> I would love to share that with Lemonese, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think I can. <laughs> yeah, you know, my hands are quite tied on this one. <laughs> but if you let Lemonese know to go back into this VOD, I'm sure that they will be quite enjoyed. Honestly, I think if you send a letter in, uh, Lemonese does do fan mail opening occasionally. <laughs> yeah, that's what I hear. They do end up bringing out the Rhine here. Let's I'm see all if here for the Spud Rhine. Lemonese eyes on the ball knows what. Although is about looking Ryan for Rhine Shield falling points. low here. Wheels is stunned again. Stunned on wheels, and the spin. Lemonese walks free. Although Steven Spud having to back hit. up here with that Rhine Shield. Ryan gets walled. Oh no! Big Anti comes out. Lemonese knows not to go back. for the Rhine. Oh, Ryan. playing aggressive. Very, very Big strong trust in the demonstration. Team to do that. Oh, oh my gosh! Honestly, I, I'd like to, I'd like to just highlight fire right here. Just yeah. consistently walling off the right target at the right time. Oh, disgusting for their team. Stevens points May is is quite strong, giving giving Lemonese so much room to work with and truly pick which target. Lemonese has, it seems like, a good eye to to see who is creating that opening from there. Ooh, just able to isolate spear. that Bastion. I haven't seen a Spear miss, if I'm being That's real. a good point. This round, there I've seen oh zero Spear God. misses. See if we're looking to alt from the Sarisa. Bastion mm. all coming out. Two down for Eau Claire. It's just wall after wall. And that is three down. A decisive blow to Eau Claire's economy in this, this alt economy. Unable to capitalize off that Bastion. Not finding an opening here. They just. They need to find an answer. Oh my off. gosh! Oh my lord. Both fire strikes out from our Ryan at Eau Claire. Oh, this right here oh, is this a is master class. What a wall. So much damage out. Oh. Spud falls first. A late beat. Stevens Point just really holding them down. In Overwatch 2, this this Ryan is is really hard to play against Narisa. And he hits another spear. God, that's disgusting. Let's take a take a look at Spud here. 
Looking Arms for the shatter. This tank Catches the May. Stunned out. Wow. Charges into oh. the blizzard. A Healing questionable small, decision. Man, but it's not enough. Spot oh, is man. just not... Did I see a boostio? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Claire. Missing the nano. Throwing it onto the Lucio here. Oh. I mean, Spud's just getting the tank experience, just wall after wall. No wall for this. Ooh. Huge wall. Huge wall. But not enough not with that enough. wheel. Stevens points, knocking three down for Eau Claire with only a minute left. Eau Claire does not, not have enough alts to bounce back. We will need to see an extremely large blizzard from Retro. Stevens Point does have an Orisa ult to yeah. match this blizzard. True, they don't have Lucio ult, however. Maybe That's a good point. Speed boost, they, they live, but... Misses the rock. Oh. Able to split the map in two with this. Oh, Lamp. man. I'm Lemonies gets three. Lemonies. And it's looking like this is wraps for Eau Claire. Oh. Although... Just consistently putting out so much damage. Getting those Lemonese alts, holding that, that space. Just an absolute masterclass. Retro's looking to maintain space for the touch here. That might have been his first spear oh. miss on that tracer. A massive B for recontest. Vog falls. Two if they have to. Oclair's Eau Eau is already back. one tick on the point. Oh, they're looking at the Ana Isode. Oh. Ends up falling. Only Lucio heals. No okay, heals for he Eau Claire. And, blizzard. and that spells doom. And that blizzard will secure them this round. Oh. Clearing Please, any last stragglers. Impressive Arissa. They just don't have an answer for it. And that'll be UWSP oh. taking map two. This brings them up 1-1 <laughs> one, one in the series. Absolute masterclass in Arissa here today. Oh, yeah. And the Ryan play. A jack of all trades oh, here. <laughs> Got some chat banter going on here. Looks like everyone is after Lemonies. It does seem that way. It'll be interesting to see how Claire plans to bounce back from this absolute terror that Lemonese is bringing from Stevens Point. I wonder if we'll end up seeing a uh, DPS swap or maybe even a dive comp from Eau Claire to counteract this Arisa. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's... A, a big Overwatch part of the game is, two. is just the mental game. So, I mean, it's kind of up to which team's holding up more. Yeah, that's a good point. Looks like we are already going into map three here. Lemonese is unbelievably dialed after that last game. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how Eau plans to respond to just the power that, that this Arisa is bringing to this map. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw some queen here. We get a fast brawl for a fast map. Get maybe two fights per point. And that's how Flashpoint goes. Yeah, you know, I haven't played a bunch of Flashpoint, but from my understanding, it's all dependent on whoever gets this first pick. I mean, he's on the Orisa again. Spud. Preparing to attack here. Not quite in game yet. But it is looking like we are going with Old Reliable from UWSP here. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's a good point. But it is quite broken for Eau Claire, so we need to <laughs> see something different if they want to bounce different. back. Ooh, the Zarya to match the Orisa. I like it. They just beam through all of her cooldowns. We got a pause oh, here. Pause coming out. Tech pause. Look, we're having some technical difficulties. Unfortunate. They are on Perhaps. quick play rules, it looks like. <laughs> the game started without a comp rule set. I mean honestly I don't I don't know if it makes a difference for Flashpoint. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it pretty much plays the same from my from my understanding, but you know, I, mean, I the rules are in in comp mode, so yeah. that that's a good point. <laughs> oh my, that oh is a my. statement. <laughs> Get this man signed. Nice try, Eau Claire from <laughs> Mr. Marzo. That is the Landon. I believe a graduate from Eau Claire. What an OG. One of the few players who really founded Overwatch and the club here at Eau Claire. I believe it's grown quite a bit since since Landon has last attended Eau Claire. They have two teams, it sounds like. Oh, yeah. It is... Pretty big. It's actually, I believe, the second biggest club in uh, in Eau Claire. I believe that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's up there. It's last I checked, it was 400 members, something yeah. like that. I believe that's correct. <laughs> All right. Coming out again here. Praying no technical bosses. Looking like we are on the right rule set here as well. Quite a beautiful map that Overwatch 2 has brought to us. However, it'll be interesting to, interesting to see how Lemonese uses all of this provided cover on this Orisa. Because surely there is no way he swaps <laughs> after this absolute whooping that Eau Claire got on King's Row. But it looks like they might have swapped up the DPS looking for a pharmacy here. Oh, true. Disgusting. I hate to see it in comp, but I mean, <laughs> if it works, it works. Yeah, true. Looking like Eau Claire is going to bring out the Junker Queen with the Rush, as well as oh. Sim and Reaper. I like it. Looking for a TP onto them and I'm taking a quick fight here. Re bringing out the wheels here. Swapped off that pharmacy. Conman is fiending to get in there. Wall comes up. Early wall. It's big, but it's not big enough. Pull on the Bastion. Conman gets thrown forward through the knife. Oh, he lives. Big lamp coming out. Although, of getting hunted. And that will make him isolated. Seems point. Down on a lot of YouTube One here. for one right now. Oh, Lemon E's good for two again. Already 60 oh. on that alt. And Gladys has almost got window again. Wow. Gladys just pumping out mad numbers here. Looking like we are going to see a window in this first fight. And that will set the tempo. It'll be interesting to see how Spud will try to deal with that. Maybe he'll get off a big rock or try to build that. I'm sorry. I thought that was a sig. It's still Junker Queen. <laughs> I mean, she's got she's got rush. She she rushes and they LOS the window and they're chilling. Unless she has to use ru shout to support herself here. True. UWSP window coming out. Oh. Sim wall from they pick Eau Claire. On Sim, oh man, the wall doesn't even matter. Oh, another big. Eau Claire just getting Lemonese. knocked to the ground. Hi, Lemonese. Small man just keeps getting picked first, and UWSP is just able to roll over them because of that. I mean, it's not looking great. You have it is looking dark. Is looking here for maybe pull into Bastion alt, but it doesn't even look like Eau Claire gets to contest. <laughs> UWSP stacking up with four alts here, heading to the next flashpoint. Eau Claire is bringing Window to this fight to start off, and then it looks like we're going to see a Blossom and possibly a Barrier to keep them up. Lemonese looking for any stuns that they can catch early. Not catching anything off rip here. And I mean here even a huge Orisa ult. Massive combo. Oh, oh my god. god. Con man able to capitalize with that combo with Lemonese. I mean hey, I can see the future. Yeah. What can I say? Absolutely annihilated. The coordination from UWSP is just so strong today. 
And again, Eau Claire just doesn't have an answer to this oppressive Arissa yet. Oh, Lord. B comes out from Stephen Point. Conman's good for two, though. It doesn't even matter. Catches the entire oh, Blossom. He saved blossom. his cooldown just for that. Wow. You know, even with Eau Claire trying to set up something, the strength that Gladys and Lemonese are bringing to Stevens Point, it's just, it, it's almost unbeatable, really. Honestly, I, I, I think I heard recently that Gladys and Lemonese were nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I mean, they're doing God's work. They, they are, are quite literally doing God's work to win them this match here. Eau Claire's on this Arisa now, looking to match. Vogue oh, caught out, and that's Ajax. another oh. clean, decisive 3K from UWSP. I mean, beating in front of window, that's bold. That is bold, and it ended up costing him. True. Got punished for it. This might be the last flashpoint. Let's see if if Eau Claire's retro can get anything going with this Sojourn ult. Onto the Arisa to match. I mean, we've seen how this goes. Yes, Maybe we Spud's have. Maybe has got something in his pocket. Uh, even even going back to map one here, Alex was able to find a oh. huge opening, but no finishing Maybe kills here. For Lamp. Great off angle. But Although already win. down two. Neutral. Stevens point. Oh. And he that it. looks like it is wraps for Eau Claire. Vogue will fall here. And Lemonese already has alt again. There Huge shout out for uh, Steven White Purple's Lucio here. Absolutely a menace with these with these speeds. Oh yeah, perfectly in time. Great read of macro knowledge. Yes, it is, oh, it is great to see a Lucio that knows what they're doing. Very well said. I cannot <laughs> say the same about the randoms in my game. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It is something truly. Another pull into the bastion. Another again. clean team kill. I mean, Eau Claire has the speed here. They might get a chance to touch again, but but Steven it just point has the alt advantage by far. I mean, we're looking at Rush versus Beat, and I mean Window and Blizzard zones the Rush. It just seems like Steven's point is, is quite in flow. They are all on the same page. They it is not looking like anything can happen to them. Everything that Eau Claire has thrown at them. I mean, they're Maybe. very versatile and making their decisions very quickly. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Eau Claire extremely spread out here. Big beat. Beat doesn't catch two, Seems though. Two. Oh, he doesn't. This might be Eau Claire's opening to go neutral here. And maybe get this flashpoint back. No. It but looks like Steven's point just has too many alts. Gladys has and too much to say. Game. Pretty decisive. From Steven's point. And that... Brings them up 2-1 in this series. And I believe that takes that takes, takes the, the series. Stevens Point Purple. Clean sweep onto Blue Gold Esports. You know. I mean, once they got lemon to, uh, Lemonese on that Orisa, just hammering those, those spears around the corners, hitting everyone. Yeah. Very clear demonstration that they were all on the same page, no matter what here. Oh, yeah. Great alt rotation. They they kept those going. They keep Great the momentum series. going through it. Very, very good place we've seen. Very interesting to see that uh, Steven Sweat was able to bounce back after that first map. Very clean sweep. Oh, yeah. Unfortunate uh, that Eau Claire was unable to match back, but oh, yeah. very good series. No, I'm upset. <laughs> yeah. I'm a personal Eau Claire supporter, but... <laughs> Stevens Point just came out punching I, today. I will say though, Stevens Point just—they just look better out there. I mean, I, 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 I love to root for for Eau Claire, but I will say, Eau, Eau Claire just wasn't playing as clean. They just were not on the same page, and it just fell short. Uh, yeah. And it, I think that will be wraps for today at GeekCon in 2023. Huh? We have one more game. Never mind. At least <laughs> I am incorrect. Um, it I looks think we're like coming up on final game. Will be Stevens Point Gold versus Eau Claire's team. Will we be, be back after break? Or yep. After? We'll be right Alrighty. back.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome I'm back. I'm Gladys, the uh, flex support for UW Stevens Point. Uh, I'm Thick, uh, oh, vice yeah. president of <laughs> esports. Not playing Overwatch anymore, but um, we're here. Round two, Stevens Point against yep. Stevens Point Gold with UWC. Uh, UW Stevens Point Gold is our academy team, so these are the players that are being coached and nurtured into high level lives. Prodigies, yes, prodigies mm -hmm. in the making. Uh, I know Valkyrie and XWAS here in the chat. XWAS, you should probably take your hands off the keyboard. Valkyrie, I appreciate the support. <laughs> Just sit here, watch, and enjoy. Uh, mm -hmm. Being here shortly. Um, well, do you know what map type we're starting off with? Is uh, it going to be I control? We're starting off with control. Okay. Because uh, it was control, hybrid, and then flashpoint. Right, flashpoint. An interesting, interesting new game type. I'm not personally a fan of. I don't know about you, but I, it's just. It's too snowbally compared. You know, there's a lot of maps that are kind of yeah. snowbally. It kind of just feels like two CP all over again. But I, I understand don't know. that. I'm personally a fan. But they're coming out with this five CP or whatever. Actually, it's that's interesting. Yeah. So they're going to be reusing old two CP maps like Hanamura yeah. and uh, Volskaya. Yeah. Which that should be interesting. Well, RIP to uh, PVE mode with those maps in there. Yeah. We saw tragically you're not with us anymore. But um, I mean, yeah, we're. Getting ready to go. This is our last match of the day. It's going to be excellent to watch for sure from Should both sides. Good. The crowd here, honestly, the support at UWO Claire has been amazing. Yeah. The fact that we're able to set this up, we are extremely fortunate and extremely grateful for right. your efforts. We're always excited for it. Oh, yeah. It's just a shame the U.S. Army team couldn't play. Oh, yeah. I, I think they brought their Rocket League team on accident. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean... They can do 3v5, you know. We'll see how that goes, but that would have been interesting to see, yeah. All right, well, Definitely. do we want to move into the lobby and introduce our players? Might as well. Let's, let's hop All into right. it. All right, moving into the lobby for UW Stevens Point Gold, we have Colton, a former Call of Duty collegiate player. Uh, he's making the transition over to Overwatch now that... Uh, Apparently, collegiate for Call of Duty is dead. You got anybody special you want to introduce on your team? Ooh, who are we seeing out there? I mean, Retro probably going to be on that tank. Maybe Spud actually might be on that tank. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that how he pulls it out. We'll see. I know last for, match we were struggling against Retro. He's a really good player. Yeah, yeah, he, he's he's pretty good at all roles. I, I don't think he plays support all that much, but I think he's more of a DPS tank player. But um, Whiskas too. Mm -hmm. Could pull out uh, like a Zenyatta or a Kirka or something like that. We'll have to, we'll see what, what we're in store for. Ash410 uh, for UW Stevens Point is our flex support player. He's also the captain of oh, our nice. academy team. And he has been a great help organizing scrims and just taking a lot of workload off of my shoulders as a manager of eSports. And not eSports, Overwatch. We'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. Potato Pride up there as well. Played with uh, UW Stevens Point Purple last semester. He's a really good player, and he's only getting better every day, every scrim. Amen. We love to see improvement, especially for then the season coming kind of to close in most leagues. Um, a lot of time for practice, warm up, and scrims in between uh, in between seasons too. Especially with NECC almost coming to a close. Mm -hmm. I don't know what other leagues you are in. I know Nace is a big one. We uh, played um, in the ABC, but you know we got rolled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that's when you're really right. You have to get good and synergize as a team before you can start really rolling. Yeah. Did your team participate in the Flash Ops or? No, we were in we were in NECC for a bit, and then we um, we scored out of NECC. Mm -hmm. So they've just kind of been scrimming and practicing for events like this, you know, looking forward to the future of Overwatch at Eau Claire here. So yeah, you guys got a great program here. Oh, lots of funding, lots of support loving. from the school system. That's great. Yeah, we love our Stevens like Point team. We played in the Flash Ops, so you can go online, go on Twitter, and see a few compilations of us getting absolutely dunked on by <laughs> professional players. It's kind of funny. I, 
we went against Team Mexico, the former Team Mexico. Team Mexico. And their that's... junk rat just put me in a montage, and it hurts. It really does. It seems like a threat. <laughs> it is. They're still figuring stuff out in the game, so it might be. One oh yeah, it seems like they're picking maps right now. Overwatch, but it should be a good set of games. I think I saw no Hanamira, no Basan come in the chat. Find out what what we got picking up here. Dash four ten is my goat. Again, just want to reiterate how helpful he's been as the captain of Gold, and how much he is. Improved as a player, he's very vocal. Mm, yeah, I wish we were able to get POVs of the players so we can hear their mics. Oh, that would be kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I am sure, I'm sure from our side anyway, you'd hear Retro and Spud screaming because they, they tend to be loud commers. Yeah, I don't know if last match you were able to pick up the players on stage, but I was screaming up there. I wanted to make. I, I overheard. A, I overheard a few things. Yeah, the pickup game was pretty interesting too. Kaman is on this team. He's going to be subbing in for Tank. Um, he plays DPS on the purple roster. We've had some woes with the person who was originally Tank. So where's the meta game at right now? I haven't, meta? I haven't been playing enough to know exactly, but I know I heard Ball was not in a good state. No, Ball is never good. There was only like one week where he was meta. Yeah. When, when, when did you leave off? What meta did you... Uh, I think I stopped playing... Gosh... I know I stopped playing as consistently when Junker Queen was dominating. Mm -hmm. um, I think I kind of stopped playing once. Yeah, we're good. Are we are? Oh, What's okay. that? All right. Well, let's transition ourselves back into game. Uh, concerning the meta. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, the display is on the. That's another. Oh yeah, it's on. You. Yeah, it's on there. I don't know. That should be fine. We can just. Okay, it looks like you're in there. Check that out. Yeah. A little bit. All right, so our first match is going to be on Oasis. I'm pretty sure this was a UW Stevens Point pick. Uh, we've got the free cam going on. Yeah, a little bit of a nice sky overlay of Oasis here. I think if you want to switch through POVs, yeah, let's hop right down. Press spacebar over somebody. There you go. See a little bit of Kiriko action. We got Arissa and Doomfist coming from fellas, sorry. either side. Yeah. In fact, one of the people from Eau Claire pulled me off from the sidelines and asked if they needed volunteers for uh, <laughs> for casting. Why not? It's fun. We do this with her in the game. All right, we're going to be seeing um, Overwatch Stevens Point Gold rolling out with a shooter comp. Uh, we've been practicing this a lot where you have a death surge and just lots of damage coming out from both Baptiste and uh, Ilari. We're going to be seeing a more dive-centric uh, focus from Eau Claire with the Doomfist and the Song yeah. Genji. <clears throat> that spins out from... Speared onto the Doomfist. Looks like they're all going in. Immort out from UW Stevens Point. Retro does pick off the Ilari from Point, though. But their tank is down. Are they able to commit and take the point? Nope, not at all. Point gets the first one. We got Genji on the prowl. Half onto that Baptiste. The dive is successful. Retro takes out Potato Pride. He's going to win that 1v1, and it looks like Mr. Wakaza. <laughs> oh, I butchered that, sorry. Takes out Colton. And eventually the rest of UW Stevens Point falls. We're not going to be seeing any ults online, Just but soon. Back in the stream there. Oh, there we go. Tie back out. There we go. Going to be seeing any ults online yet, but we're going to get a early terror surge. Retro on the prowl. Creeping in on a window too. Looks as like well. they're going to want to go after this Ilari. Point pushing on to point. Shift out from Alari. She's extremely vulnerable now. And taken out by the Ana. Good shot. Retro on the soldier. But Spud is taken out by the Ash 410 soldier. Will it be enough? I don't think so, as all the support for Stevens Point falls. Oh, no, yeah. 
and Good effort Blade building Ultimate here, here, yeah. Tank. We're going to be seeing Nanoblade online for UW Eau Claire soon. No ults yet for point, but Terra Surge and Overclock are extremely close. A lot of these games, it's based on ult economy. Absolutely. If you're able to um, only splice in two and win a fight, you're golden. But if you over ult, I know the, <laughs> the coach says this a lot, if you over ult, you're dead. Steven's point pushing in through Hookah. Are we going to be seeing a commitment from the Doom? Pylon down. Ooh, an early nano blade. Terror point surge responding with out. Terror Surge, but they're all purple. And eventually, Mr. Waz gets a 4K. Mr. Wishikaz. Whiska. Miska. Whiska. Hey, Whiska. Yeah. yeah. Whiska, that's his name. Gets a 4K. Retro finishing off with the fifth kill. Looks like they're going to be prowling for that EMP. Maybe Ash 410 can respond with a good overclock and pick it out fast. Oh, There's the overclock. Ooh, Hack on. Oh, Ash 410 takes out Retro. But Steven's point is hurting. Not a lot of resources in their bank. Takes out the Doomfist. And nice. The Doomfist is taken out. Rally pushed out. Eau Claire is down three. Only Ana now. Sleep out. Ash 410 kills three. Good recover. Hopefully they can keep it, keep the time on their side for this first control map of ours. We're going to be seeing only an EMP from UW Eau Claire. Are they going to commit? We're going to have a Visor Sun with UW Stevens Point. They're sitting up on the high ground. They should be really careful for this Doomfist boop. Common Man spears nothing. Nisani taking out early, but they're all piling onto this Doomfist. Here comes the, oh, Spud takes out the visor early. Steven's point is down two. Are they going to be able to stall this out, take it back? Ash Chen finds one, is taken out quickly, and Potato Pride is over. A lot of alts coming out here. EMP'd onto the con man. And it Ooh. looks like we're going to be seeing a map, not map one, round one go to UWO Clay. There we go. Strategic use of dive. What do you think was the most notable part of that match for you? I, I think the shutdown of the visor was a big, a big play that came out. Of course, um, Terra Surge did did well for controlling space, um, although uh, that fight was lost. Um, I think a lot of the, uh, either I guess both sides were doing pretty well on. Uh, grouping and making sure that they're together and not kind of off on their own adventure. We're going to be a, seeing a swap from Arisa to Sigma. Kaman has been notoriously grinding out Sigma and competitive. Doors are going to open up in one, and now they're fighting. This is going to be a neutral fight, and all comes down to individual player mechanical skill. On the bash. Genji really low, forces out the deflect. Point is all going through this choke here. Doomfist comes in, he's half HP, but gets out quick. Point is gonna keep on poking from this choke. Pressuring out that Genji who's one shot. Oh, oh Common Man finds one, Colton finds another. Slide up, ooh. Almost Close nice miss. headshot there. That was a good first take from Steven's point. Let's see how UW Eau Claire responds. Dive into poke. Interesting come. Let's see how well Terraform we can get comes in out here. first. Ooh. Oh, but it gets shredded up by the deflect. No a lot of chip resources there, yeah. on the Genji right now. Why well, are doing some nice healing? The pylons here. out. Biggest pick. Oh, but Spud goes down to a unique rock from Con Man. And it seems like UW Stevens Point is going to hold on to the point mm. a little bit longer. Chasing down the other soldier and down lower ground. Ash 410 gives up here. Well, there's been some roster changes. Oh, mm, yeah. Whiskas quickly pick it up. Not a good stagger. The dive has been circumnavigated by UW Eau Claire, opting more to mirror, but they're keeping that brig. We're going to be seeing 
Blocks out from Conman. It catches two. Takes out the Ana. Yeah. Big pressure onto the Alari, but Conman finds two. Spud takes out Nasani. Uh, Nasadi. <laughs> But there's, her pylon is still up. Spud finds one more. No support for Steven's point. Big rock. Sigma is one HP. They're going to go in with the overclock. See if they can retake this space. Half onto the Genji. Genji finds Ash. Conman takes out Whiskas. Investment of overclock from UW Eau Claire. She's half HP, but she has her supports. Pylon putting in a lot of effort here. We're going to be able to see a Nanoblade coming up in a window from UW. Window get out. Flux. Five get fluxed. And finds Colton. Lamp like is able to save a few. But let's see. Spud dangerously low. Nasadi down. Nano invested to save Retro's life. Blade is also popped that last fight. A lot, yeah, a lot of alts used there. Window. We got a flux. No ults on Steven's blade. point, but they have rally know, for yeah. Eau Claire. And we're going to be going back, poking the neutral. Conman using his cooldowns just to advance. Blue on the Eau Claire soldier. Finds a headshot, but no pick. Now they're going to be keep on peeking. Low shield. He's going to have to put it down. Rock misses. Deflect out from the Genji. He's going behind. We're going to see if they're going to invest any ults here now, or if this is going to be a continuation of a long neutral fight. Mm, yeah. Oh, and it... Rock out of the Genji is found. 50% set for UW Eau Claire, but they're down one. They're going to have to find a pick and get this fast. Nice flanking Bastion. Flanking Bastion, putting in the damage into the Sigma. Sigma low, gone. Bombs being invested by UW Stevens Point. It finds Retro. 98%. See what happens Rock here. Onto the Might Genji is kicked out point. early. Rally. Oh, only Genji. one left. Ana was able to die before that flux going off. See if he can stall long enough. Oh. Overclock coming Good from Harvey Stevens Point. Great performance from Conman right there at the end. Con Good flux. Good rock. Yeah. Rocks, yeah. I can see it. Now we're one one. What do you think Eau Claire could have done differently there? I saw quite a few staggers. Um, a lot of ults burned to take point and get percentage. Um, I think it kind of initially just snowballed from the beginning. We're seeing um, a pause coming from. Yeah, pause point. coming in. Maybe tech issues. We'll find out to see as to what the issue is. But confusion on the stage, suspense and disbelief. Someone possibly crashed. I would assume. So once again. Sorry if you're interrupting. What do you think uh, Eau Claire could have done differently? They, you said mentioned staggers. What else? Yeah, I, I think our first push onto objective to take take point, uh, a lot of alts were burned. Mm -hmm. um, if there was a way we could have used less alts in that fight, uh, could have saved more for um, Stevens Point's retake. Because uh, Stevens Point you know, had quite a few alts on, on deck to use uh, to take over a uh, point. Mm -hmm. um, I think those are the main issues I saw. Um, nothing really micro I, I noticed um, besides those macro issues. But going off to uh, map three now of Oasis. We're going to be going right back into game here. Yeah, we certainly saw last round. Some fights took four ults to win, and sometimes you lost when you invested four ults. Yeah. It's a woe of both teams, I'll say. See a lot of different picks coming to the side of Blue Gold. We got a monkey, uh, same Ana, but with a. Oh, back on a bap, actually. The same shooter comp is going to be coming out of Steven's point. No swaps for them. But this dive, we'll see how well it goes. High ground, first taken by Eau Claire. Retro going down to half HP, though. Might lose the 1v1. Nope, he's out fast. Stevens Point going to try to make a bid for high ground. Conman finds Kiriko, but Potato Pry taken out with an early usage of his Immort field. Colin wins the Soldier 1v1 here. Low, Monkey diving down, but unfortunately the heals are too good. Colin finds three. Just on and Genji left on point just to stall. Anti going but in. It was not enough. 
Whiskers in the back line, half HP, backing up to his spawn, able to survive. No ults coming on at all in the fight with their Sojourn from Ash 10 and Nasadi, the closest. Eat out of Sigma, a critical cooldown. And the rock hits nobody. Potato Pride is taken down by Whiska's excellent railgun. It's a 4v5. Advantage to Eau Claire. Some good high ground control from so a soldier up there. Just beaming he drops him down. off the off angle as he sees the pressure popping in. Ash 410 taken down by Retro's Helix Rocket. Steven's point is going to have to just stall out this point, see what kind of percentage they could squeeze out like Whiskus has squeezed Colin out of the match. Spud Ooh. takes out the Ilari and Kaman cleaned up by Whiskus once again. Pretty sure a lot of these star performances from the DPS getting usually three a fight. Mm, yeah, it's kind of determining what's what side we're going towards. That and ultimates too. Mm -hmm. Ultimates, we have Colton is able to get his visor first before Retro, but will he invest it first? We'll see. No great combos in the ult bank right now. But we should also make note that Spud is 93, while Kanban is only 80% to their respective ultimates on the mirror. Steven's point is going to try to rotate up to high ground. Bap! Put down to half HP, he survives! We got Spud coming in. Oh, whiffs his uh, flux. We got a trade for one support to one DPS. Hurting Ash 10, he's taken down, but their Sigma's low. Is he going to be able to hit the rock? Ooh. Oh! Ah, nice. Spud hits Con Man out of the ult. And it looks like this fight is going to Eau Claire from some useful mechanical skill. Just need to take out the last player. Con Man so. takes Retro, however. This is winnable. Kitsune out from Eau Claire, but they're backing up with this. Kaman actually in a sticky situation. Right. Sun comes in. I think it hits three. See Blows up. Finds Mr. Whiskers. Immort out. Spud is taking the damage, but he's soaking it. Thanks to the support from his Baptiste, who just got taken down from Ash 10. Spud finds two. This is a very contentious fight, it but is. it looks like Eau Claire is going to be the ones on top. The Solari is very slippery. Hard stagger to stagger onto this support line. Unfortunate, doesn't seem like they're at 90%. Are they going to be able to touch UW Stevens Point yeah. without any support? Kaman makes the bid. No ults, Ooh. but they do have Flux. Oh, Colton goes down fast. Here comes the window, the Flux. He's up in the air. Sitting duck gets taken down by Firehearts. Excellent, Baptiste. And there we go. Map one First goes inside of UWC. Good performances from both teams. Um, so far, is following the same. Oh, Mr. Whiskers, with an amazing 4K blade has played the game. But as I was saying, this is following the same pattern as last match, where Stevens Point lost to Control. So maybe the reverse sweep can happen again. Or are we going to be see Eau Claire on top? It's been quite exciting, and uh, hasn't been one-sided, which is always nice to look for. Um, and just love to see competition in its in its prime, in its nature. Mm -hmm. That's what we're seeing right now, I would say. It's amazing how much of a difference being in person versus online can make towards morale of the team, how much fun you're having playing the game. Mm. I Definitely. just wish that Smash, like Smash, they have a massive land culture. I wish Overwatch had something similar. Yeah, it's, it's nice because Smash is one of those things where it's just you kind of have to play it in person. Like, on the online scene was pretty popular during COVID, but uh, it's it's just not the same as well, yeah. getting in person, playing against the person right next to you. Um, but I I mean I'm glad as a state Wisconsin our esports uh, scene is growing. Uh, a lot of new Wisconsin leagues popping up. Um, a lot more opportunities like this to have lands. Yep. Whether it's just for funds. Or if it's actually money on the line, you know. No stakes in this match. Yeah. Well, I mean. We did see there is a belt up there, though. Yeah. An e esports champion or whatever. And then says. we also have uh, medals, too, that light up. I think I think they might be glass or plastic glass. I'm not sure exactly what they are. but Something cheap from China. 
<laughs> yeah, so, well, something to take home. Yeah. Put on a trophy case, but it's about the memories. Absolutely. That's what it's about. Apparently, according to some spectators, we look exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, uh, fraudulent uh, activity happening off off camera right now. Lock in. Oh, yeah. Giga Chad right here. Yeah. Sigma male grind set. Sigma male. Like I only Connor play Sigma. I Sigma only play Sigma. With his rocks. <laughs> Our greatest fan, x -Waz. Again, lay off the keyboard, bud. <laughs> <laughs> He's cooking. Seems like our next is going to be hybrid. They're going to be playing Hollywood. Hollywood, Hollywood. Kind of a fan. Tank from earlier, consoling our team. Maybe some backseat gaming or coaching, whatever you want to call it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> is this... So currently the event we're at in person is GeekCon. Is this the first GeekCon that has had eSports, or has this been a no, trend in recent we've, years? No, we've had, uh, so far as I've been here, um, actually it might have been it's might have been going on for four years now at least. Mm -hmm. uh, but our club didn't start until like, feel like 2019, 2020. Mm -hmm. And I think we started doing this in 2020. Um, but this is the first year that we've invited uh, more than one school. Um, Last year we invited River Falls only, um, and the year before was only Eau Claire playing. Um, but we're hoping next year we're shooting to get two days worth of uh, esports, so um, each team invited would have a chance to play in whatever game we're showcasing. That should be fun. Hopefully the Army team shows up as well. <laughs> yeah. We'll go on and dive right in. Find out what's uh, going to be seen Hollywood. It's cooking on Hollywood here. Again, it seems like UW Stevens Point is going to be on their tried and true practice shooter comp. Potato Pride warming up his aim before the match begins. Something else. Spud locking the Roadhog. The reworked Roadhog, I should add. Yeah, you know, I have not played the new Roadhog yet, so I'm kind of interested oh, to see. Oh, he's still the big sexy man he always should oh, be. Oh, is he? Just check, check that bot out. Holy. Damn. That is something else. High ground setup coming from Stevens Point. Let's see how Spud will surgically pick through this comp and pull somebody down. Especially that shield might be a little difficult, but we'll see how they pull it off here. Fighting Widowmaker coming from Whiskas. Whiffs the first shot. Whiskas the first shot. Ooh, close headshot there. Pig pen put out front. UW Stevens Point needs to be wary. Sigma being pulled down doesn't activate the trap, but he's on low ground. Nothing reciprocated from Eau Claire. Genji is in height, uses deflect. Supports are low. Half HP on the Alari. Bastion hurting, but his turret form is out with that damage reduction. He's able to stay alive. Ash 410 finds the Zenyatta. Yeah. Suzu out from Eau Claire. And their Genji being a sneaky little ninja. And staying in the back line. Their Genji is discovered down to half HP. Is he going to be able to stay out or is he staying in the back line? We will find out. Nope. Seems like that Genji is still playing around, hovering around the Mega Retro, showing off his amazing top 500 Genji skills. Goes up to the <laughs> high ground here. Top 500 Genji skills, he says. Fortunately, we're going to be seeing a swap off of the Roadhog. Boring. A lot of mowdown going on here. Two support ults online right now. Potato Pride with his window and Fireheart with her Kitsune. Rock out from Eau Claire. Kitsune onto point and Blade finds Ash 410. He's critical. No resources from the oh, the point Baptiste puts down his window. Instantly being picked off and finding none. But it looks like Kamen is going to get bullied out of there. Yeah. Unfortunate uses. Infrared sights going to 150. However, this is a first point capture going to Eau Claire. Now we just regroup, reposition, get ready for next. Oh, I, I definitely missed that. Colton picked off from Mr. Whiskas. 
Gets Potato Pride though, forces out the lamp. A critical cooldown on 24 seconds after his recent. Whiskers one, Combat finds him. Take him out. Excellent play. Spud back it off on the high ground, knowing that he has a little bit less pressure. Both Sigmas have their flux. And Combat puts it in early. Finds their Baptiste, puts him down low, gets the retro Genji. Their Sigma is feeling the heat. Nothing to do for the Sigma. He fluxes, doesn't find anybody, unfortunately. Turret mode out from Colton, Ash for 10, picks off Spud. And it looks like Stevens Point has cemented themselves on this high ground. But it's a shame. They're going to have. Ooh, they're going to have no ults for Old Claire. Yeah. Building up in the Genji. Uh... Genji Blade, but we just got to get through this hallway here. See next stage, but Steven's Point Rock putting in work holding spud. off. Ooh, and it looks like the sun was blocked by a savvy Sigma shield from Spud. No value. Lots of resources being pushed out. Off angles for the soldier, laying in the heat. Retro, or small man, pops out his window. Their Genji's low, one shot. Is he going to be found? Nope. But the Ilari is, and so is the support from Stevens Point. Falling first, and eventually letting down their Sigma. Unfortunate. Oh, barely missed that shot on the soldier there. That was a close one. There's a little technical difficulty with the stream here, fellas. It seems like Blue Gold, Esports, and Stevens Point are swapped. So the team with Spud as the tank are... Uh, Eau Claire. I'll probably tap back in there. Eau Claire is able to secure the high ground first, and Stevens Point is for forced to move through the low ground. Pylon taken out early by Retro. Oh, stunned out of his Graphitic Flux by Spud. I think that's 2 0 for Graphitic Flux cancellations in the favor of Spud. Rock goes out, Spud on the ground for two seconds. And it looks like Mr. Waz finds Con Man. The Genji finds Bastion. And that second point going to UW Eau Claire. Potato Pride wins that 1v1, however. He's over. Hands coming out of Con Man. Oh, it looks like the Sigma 2 1. 2 1 on Graphitic Flux cancellations. Con Man finds his first. There comes a window from Stevens Point. His hands are put in front, sucking up all of the damage. Gets a massive health boost. And it looks like Genji in the back line finds Colton with the deflect. Fireheart takes out the Alari. And Stevens Point is falling one by one by one. Infrared sights going out until 2.20. We're only going to be seeing a road coming from Blue Gold Esports while Ash 10 has his gets picked out early by that critical ult that they're missing out on. A Diva Switch coming from Con Man. Miska Whiskers, what, Whiskers once again getting two, binding the Alari. Bomb coming out, no Susu called. What are they going to see? Nine here. That's right. Colton finds Fireheart. Spider finds Ash and Con Man. The Diva Swap is paying off, but he's feeling the pain. Shooting into the shield. And it's 425 DPS per second, just too much for their spud. Time to regroup. Hold up. Get that time on. We got a minute 45 left. See what can happen. We're going to be seeing an ult advantage on the side of Blue Gold Esports, however. Four ultimates online with Stevens Point's son to respond. Switch to the Hanzo's and a Widowmaker. Hanzo's a new one. Kitsune window. This is a ton of damage being pumped out. Two times and faster. One shot onto the Ash 410 soldier. Ilari's down. Kakira goes down to an excellent blade from Retro. Retro finds two. And it looks like Steven's point is going to be forfeiting the third point with a minute 12 on the clock. Sunrise coming out just a little bit too late. One minute and 11 seconds on the clock. Valiant hold from Stevens Point and a wonderful push from Blue Gold. See what we can make of it off on our swap here. I'm predicting that we're going to go 
Stevens Point is going to roll all the way to three, and we're going to get the longest match of hybrid known to Overwatch history. Oh, those are uh, some of our favorite, you know. Painful matches. Third point spawn. Excellent. We are in intermission. We're in right intermission now. right now between the <laughs> between the rounds. But we got three seconds left on the clock for the preparation phase. And now the teams are going to be moving out. Got Lucio. I haven't seen a Lucio since our control maps earlier today. I see, you know, Ash as well. Double sniper coming from Eau Claire too. Purple was running Lucio. A really boring horse comp. Trust me, I play it. It's not fun. But it's fun to roll over the enemy team with Lucio's speed. And when you're really unlocked, taking out the same target, lots of fun. Maybe we'll see something similar from UW Stevens Point Gold. But it looks like we're going to be having a small man push ups from Colton. Small man Mercy and a retro Widow. Possibly a good pocket. Or maybe the pocket's going to be going on to the Ash. Find out. Doors open. Teams are in position to fight. It looks like Retro is going to be trying to find an early pick. Finds Colton. Ash for 10 taken out. Unable to contest the Widow. Headshot. And it looks like Retro Which going down very, low. Stevens Point low. pulling out. Going in for the next one. Con man, Teddy says hi to you. I don't know who Teddy is, but Teddy says hi. I think he is, uh, he was a coach. I'm not sure if it was one of our coaches, but probably someone he knows. I Retro, assume. another headshot onto Potato Pride. Amazing display of mechanical prowess. Blue under the soldier, and is he going to find anything with his rail? No, unfortunately not. Command going down low, half HP. Ash also feeling the pain. This is amazing defense. Right onto the Widow. Rockets, boosters, DM. Oh, he gets rocked. Unable to do anything against all the incoming damage. Out into baby form. Ooh, good shot from Whiskas in the pocket from Small Man. Real gun able to get it out. Off here. Dynamite finds one damage boost to Dynamite. We're going to be seeing sight lines. Don't peek that, Ash. You no, know, you don't want to. You don't want to peek it. Baby Diva now grown fight. up to a full grown tax paying adult. Goes to high ground but rocked off. No value from her dive. Nano is online for the Ana. Where they get combo with it, you don't know. But it doesn't seem like they're going to be needing ults to win as Ash 410 dies early. <laughs> a heal me call. <laughs> Screamed from the stage. Sorry, Connor. You're in the back line. Cannot get to you soon enough to heal you off. Sorry, boss. Ults are finally going to be coming on for UW Stevens Point and a monkey switch off of the D.Va. Of course. Eau Claire has four ults. Yeah. Four critical ults, mind you. Our last one we don't have. Not too impactful, but still, still an ultimate. Does its job. Retro's been finding good picks with the Widow. Booped away from the Ash. Not rocked. We're going to see an overclock. Colton beats going on to point. This is two ults off of uh, Eau Claire, or his point, I should add. Retro is down. Spud finds the Lucio. And it seems like Steven's point is able to take this for this first point with the use of two ultimates. Eau Claire you know, also lost it too, but didn't find similar value. Yeah. Point. Gives us Steven's point. <laughs> we were one of our previous online matches were casted by our opponent and the caster was going insane by how many times he had to say point control <laughs> point capture point push point Stevens point ooh <laughs> and the point shoved point of the needle shoved right through Ash 410's eye thanks Spud appreciate it love to see it Command setting up for a dive. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any other dive DPS with him. But they're getting a lot of free push. Get the Cassidy pick now instead of the Widowmaker. Is his ego hurt or is he just doing it to counter the dive? We'll never know. I don't know. Soft dive from Connor. Waste bubble and uh, jump for that. Sigma drops. 
Potato Pry TP's on. Kitsune invested, although they're down one as Retro find, found the Sojourn. Lucio out. They're down two. Stevens point. Eau Claire up and fighting. Colton somehow managed to stay alive for this long for the pocket from Potato Pride. But it's all futile as Whiskas finds his kills. Big primal mechanics. High noon, unable to get the ulting monkey. And it seems like Eau Claire is able to hold on to the point for a little bit while longer. Two minutes left on the clock. This is critical. One or two more fights. Not too many ultimates online. Back on the Sigma from the Monkey. We should be wary of the Nano Visor. Right? Absolutely. That may be coming soon, shortly. To a land event near you. To GeekCon near you. Back on the PokeCon for Stevens Point. It looks like they're going to try to contest up high ground. Rock whiffed. Suzu out from Eau Claire. Ash Ew. finds two with a headshot. Taken out by Retro, but able to get his value. Retro takes two as well. Stevens Point and Eau Claire are even. Spud finds the support, and it's just Soldier 76. Good dink, and he's taken out. Good night. Taken back to spawn. Good progression on the cart. Uh, only minute nine left on the clock. We'll see what we can make of this. We got a soldier out coming up soon, as well as two support alts almost online. Um, this is the thing about Overwatch, too, is even though you might be able to find those two picks at first, individual value, especially from retro, just too much. Sigma off the high ground. Stevens Point pushing forward. Take the aggression. 1v1, Sigma versus Soldier on point. Soldier just huddling. Both Lucios are taken down. Pfizer, Colton finds one, Ash finds the Ana, but Whiskas diffs Colton. Another advisor coming out, finds Ash for 10. Contentious fight, but it looks like Eau Claire is going to be able to take it with good macro usage. <laughs> Simone then screams on stage as he's hit by a massive rock from Con Man. Con Man just holding the point on its own, making sure he gets as much progression he gets before his team comes back. But he has to back up for his team. We're going to be seeing a Flux online. Flux That's coming good. out. It finds three. Ooh. Hanzo, what? Oh, what with the, the Charlie man. Niner from UW Stevens Point. Who are we going to flame? I couldn't tell you. But UW Eau Claire takes the match and takes the series. Wonderful effort. And Whiskas takes the play of the game. Sheesh. From the crowd. Wonderful audience we had. We today. were able to catch this on stream too, but once again, nice target focus here. Just getting Looks the shots like they're going to be get uh, doing one more game for the hell of it, probably. Find out. Fun match. That poke, the two poke mirrors, doesn't work out in the favor of Stevens Point. Unfortunate. But what do you think that Stevens Point could have done better this match? It's hard to know. It, it seemed very close for the most part. Um, from what I saw, a lot of it came down to individual play mm -hmm. for the most part. Um, in terms of like ultimate use wise, I mean, I thought both the, both teams were doing well on that. Um, Escort is just kind of one of those things where you get picked off. Your team kind of just falls apart, especially with having that widow. Maker. Yeah, widow on one side. You know, only thing I can really say about that is positioning. Um, I wasn't really focused too much on positioning, more of ultimate uses and stuff. But I mean, that could have gone any way, depending on what team comps we were seeing. But it's one of those games where team comp matters. Micro matters. Micro matters a lot too, yeah. and it's really hard to find out what micro issues there are. Like live here without a VOD review, but going to Suravasa. Suravasa here. Beautiful India. See, I, I, I have not seen this map yet, and I'm excited to find out what happens here. This is one of the dreaded... One of the... Dreaded flashpoint matches. <laughs> yeah. I've heard it's uh, relatively interesting. I know there was a... God, what? I don't remember what... Make game mode that was, but there was a nice India map. This is it. This is, is it actually this is India? Yeah. Oh really? 
Then I guess I have seen this one before. You can tell from the wonderful, beautiful art architecture, the display of culture by the Blizzard design team. Now, I might come off as a Blizzard hater, but their map designers, top notch. Yeah, it's one of the things they can do good on, but it's about it. <laughs> That's about it. That's about it. Well, Blood rolling out on the Doomfist. I could give them credit that uh, Blizzard has been doing well at reworking their game and changing characters. Whether or not it's good, I I, I uh, promote them for doing that. So now that Overwatch is actually getting support, we're starting to see a thriving esports scene. So Overwatch they... League might have gone down, but with every ending becomes another beginning. The rush comp comes out, spin and gold out of the common man Orisa. Cooldowns are extraordinarily hard to uh, balance, but it's just something you need to learn. Retro finds Colton. Oh, the charge right into Potato Pride. Spud gets that one shot. Ash for 10, able to take out Retro though. Is that a gap? Maybe. Not gonna tell. Who knows? But Mr. Whiskers may. Too much. Try to find the Mercy here. Ooh, gets Point punted. Support, staggering themselves out. Spud is able to kill them. Or eliminate them, rather. We're going to see a regroup from point. One of the dreadful things about Flashpoint but that I wish they would change is how fast this point is able to be progressed. Really easy to snowball, too, from what I've heard. Well, we're going to be seeing a rhyme here now. Come on, putting the respect down. But let's see if he can put the hammer down. Colton taken out fast by the small man. They're down one. No ults invested yet. Retro finds Ash. Star player of old player. And that's another fight lost. And a point lost from Steven's point. No investment of ults from Eau Claire at all. Five are coming online. And Steven's point. Lacking. Just a little bit. But again, this could go any which way. Now here's the fun part. Rotating to next point. We love to see it. I remember when they were teasing this playthrough, Aaron Keller said it's gonna be on huge maps. And people were really concerned that there was gonna be an Overwatch Battle Royale. Thank goodness <laughs> there isn't. But the fight's gonna begin here. E out from Steven's point. Eau Claire. Kitsune. Shatter finds no one. Kamen able to block it. Giga Chad shatters oh. fights three. Conman kills three. Lays down the hammer. Lays down the respect. Eau Claire lost that initial point control quick. But that's three ults, four ults, mind you, from Stevens Point. Or four ults rather from yeah. two gold and four from Stevens Point right. as well. Eau Claire not having much left besides coalescence. We'll see what can be made of that. Which is better, coalescence Ooh, or bombs? We're not going to ask that question. No. Because bombs is out fast, but Ash 410 is down fast too. Mondo damage going on to the tank. Coalescence is coming to heal it up. And then Mercy is taken out. And then Burn from Colton takes out uh, their spun. But all futile in the wake of UWO Eau Claire. The map goes over 50% to Steven's point. Let's walk it back. Switch to the Reaper here. Reaper. Get a little more close up and personal. Able to chunk down tanks. One of the tank busters. Spud. Unable <laughs> unable to contain the rage. And Steven's point support line is out fast in the neutral. No ults. Ooh, massive staggers coming out. Hopefully Ryan can Kinda get out of here, maybe. Oh, looks Ooh, like he can. Savvy Suzu is able to save his life, but they're still feeling the pain hard. I know Reaper was one of the intended solution for goats, but did nothing, even with the amount of buffs he had. Not enough. Wall out from Whiskas, able to find the Reaper, no Wraith, no Suzu, lots of... Ooh, Retro with a massive overclock. The chatter gets blocked from Con Man. A lot of resources out. Retro finds three, four, 
Small man takes the ace. We're seeing a lot of really early cooldown forcage from Stevens Point and from Eau Claire. That's what really makes these points hard to grab. Mm, yeah. Going into the next point with ultimates is nice. Uh, using those early on or saving them for a clutch moment. Whatever cheeses your cherry pie. Four ults for Eau Claire. Let's hope they don't waste four at the same time. They're going fast. Oh, Con Man blocks it. Both beats coming out. Cole Lessons two on the point. Lots of healing, lots of sustain. Whiskas hurting, no ice block. Wall finds, oh, Ash for 10. Unable to Shuts down the Reaper race because Retro finds one. Spud is down, Lucio down, Potato Pride. We're seeing an even fight. Uh, but Stevens Point has this tank advantage. Mr. Whiskas unable to sub in as that juicy tank. Stevens Point finds first cap. That was four ults from Eau Claire as well. Comment is coming up on another shatter. Let's see him hit it, Nutty. I know he can. I've seen him do it. Are they committing? Nope. Holding on to this choke point, but it looks like Eau Claire undecisive with the name space. or through yeah. the choke. Wheels mode out of Stevens Point. That's a crucial cooldown. And now Eau Claire knows that they can be aggressive without a lot of damage. And that's exactly what he's going to do. But massive uh, damage coming from the bombs, getting the Moira. But Colton pays the price with his life. And eventually Spud takes three out of the picture. Overclock good in. Good headshot from Retro there. And they're down. And that's all. Both shatters are going to come online. Next fight is going to be a gap. Or who is going to get gapped on the Reinhardt? Who yeah, comes out to shield? Uh, shield percentage. Um, it looks like we're about to have Lucio beat from the side of Stevens Point. So maybe. Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, Blue Gold is coming online. So maybe we might. Oh, we got it. Oh yeah, that is it's on the right side. We're good. Stevens Point coming in from an alternative route, finding low ground and cover behind the fountain. Chunking into that Reaper. Oh, Con Man finds that one millisecond block. It's Bud plays a pace of price. Hammer down. Gets one. The Blizzard oh, is the side here. Blizzard gets three. And Eau Claire is able to turn that around. That's what we wanted to see right there. What an amazing Blizzard. Who Even knew the Blizzard would have decided, to yeah. That shatter hit one of his own. Mr. Whiskas. Stellar performance. What a, player. what a star. Just hold the point by himself for the most part. You got his Ryan back. Last fight but coming on. Great wall, able to delay Conman, but they're not going to have it late in the fight. Hurting Stevens Point. Both Lucio's down. Stevens Point down one. Charge in. They're low. Whiskas finds this last support. And even though Fireheart goes down, it looks like the map and match is going to UW Eau Claire. An excellent performance from both teams. I think that what might be an amazing comp. <laughs> that might be it. Good. Retro, arguably my player of the match. His mechanical skill, top notch in the lobby. His hit scan, honestly, could go pro. Finds four in that play of the game. What an amazing display for both teams. Love to see it. And it seems like we might be getting awards out soon. Um, Are we going to be streaming that, on. do you know? I don't know. That will be a question for people higher than us. We'll see what happens, but... Um, I mean, in the meantime, until that happens, we can go in in our break scene. But uh, if not, cheers. Have a good night. Good rest of your day, actually. Thanks for tuning in, uh, UWC. Uh, we thank River Falls for showing up. Stevens Point for showing up. We're glad. We're glad to be here. Yeah, no doubt. It was a great, great showing of skill from all sides. Enjoyable time. Smash Bros. Valorant. Overwatch. Other things happen at GeekCon. Um, we hope to do it next year. Absolutely. We'd, I uh, hope it's bigger next year. It'll be I, amazing. Yeah, I th we're shooting for two days, so look forward to same time, early December um, coming up. But appreciate it.
We'll Anything see. else we want to say before we say goodbye to chat? Stay frosty. Yeah, stay frosty. Stay clean. And uh, wash your bed sheets. Oh, God, please do. And take showers. Yeah, of course. Thank you for tuning in. News in for people more important than me. We are going to be streaming the award, so stick by if you want to see that. Thank you.
Bye, Chad.